Hey everybody, it's Party Elite taking a look at Crusader Kings 3. How is everybody doing today on this wonderful, wonderful start to the week? You know, typically you're supposed to hate Mondays, but here we are with some early looks at uh, Crusader Kings 3. I'm super pumped. Uh, I hope you all are as well. I have some really fun stuff planned uh, with regards to our playthrough, and my hope is actually to do a... Um, well, my hope is to make live streaming Crusader Kings 3 a very common occurrence on this channel uh, because I do love this era and this type of game so much. It's like right up my alley when it comes to role-playing, history, coming together, intrigue, murder, madness, all that kind of stuff. It's so much fun. Um, we're going to be diving in as what I think is going to be a very interesting character today. Um, with, uh, with some very interesting challenges to kick things off. Uh, but I just want to touch on some stuff really quickly, uh, briefly, just to point out. To those of you that know less about Crusader Kings and what Crusader Kings is all about, um, you basically play as a character in this game, and you go through the ages, and you can start way back in 867, or you can start at 1066, pick a character, and, you know, sort of... Oh, I mean, the rest of it I can't explain in a sentence, but you'll have to see how, how it works out. Uh, so it's a game that spans a very long time, uh, if you want it to. And even though going through these dates, it looks like it's a pretty, you know, kind of Eurocentric approach. It's all about European history and whatnot. Let's go on back to 867, because that's when we're going to start. We're going to hit this little button down over here, and you'll see exactly why it took me so long to decide who to play as. Some of you, again, will already know because you're familiar with Crusader Kings, but those of you that aren't, you can play as basically anybody in, uh, in, in this part of the world. And... Let me tell you, I, uh, <laughs> I I went through so many options in my head. In my head, I was like, oh, maybe we play as a prince of Persia starting in Farce and create the Persian Empire, because you can. Uh, maybe we play as a, you know, Bengali tiger prince and make the empire of Bengal conquer all of India, because you can. You know, maybe we do some business in the Byzantine, uh, go for that kind of economic approach, because you can't like there were so many options and I just didn't know what I wanted to go with and I kept trying to figure out what I want to do what I want to do ultimately what I've decided on is uh, to go with some Maghrebi madness now uh, I have personal attachment to Morocco just from my my life uh, which is something that drew me to it. I was tempted to play in India, but I'll do that for a future CK3. I'll do that for, or CK3 benchmarks, I suppose. I'll do that for a future um, playthrough for sure, because I want to showcase some of the stuff that goes on in like the Middle East and the subcontinent and stuff as well. But today, I want to kick off this uh, playthrough where we start off in uh, among the Idrisid um, Sultanate and push up. Well, I've got so many plans, man. I'm so excited for this. Uh, I, I I apologize for my uh, <laughs> scatterbrainedness. I'm just so excited. Uh, okay, so my plan is we're actually going to be playing starting as uh, the Sheikdom of Garb, um, which is a young child. So we're kicking things off as a young, young boy, only six years old. So we're just old enough to start getting an education and things like that. So what we're going to do is... We're going to grow up into our, you know, adulthood, which hits at 16. And at that point, we're going to be, you know, having been taught by our, our father and, you know, those around us, we're going to try and fix the mistakes of the Umayyad dynasty. There is actually a decision that you can take to, um, to avenge the Battle of Tour. And I think that's what we're going to do. Today, the YouTube circle, we're going to be playing for about three hours or so, so we should get a lot done. Uh, and, of course, we're going to be streaming a lot more often than, than we have for the rest of this year. So we're, uh, we're hopefully going to get a lot done with a lot of starts, with a lot of CK3 over the course of, you know, what's left of the year and then even after that. But, okay, so let's, let's go ahead and kick things off. Also, I want to say, folks, thank you all for joining. We're like five minutes into the stream, 200 of you all watching. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Normally, I start a stream by saying hi to everybody, and I apologize. I skipped past that today because I'm just like, I want to play. I want to dive in, and I'm sure y'all want to see the game in action, too. So let's go ahead and swap the game rules to Iron Man. I think that's fair, right? I think Iron Man's the way to go. Because, uh, let's be honest, that's part of the fun with a game like Crusader Kings 3, is where when things go wrong, you're kind of stuck with it. This might be a very short-lived 
uh, playthrough. It might be a long and glorious playthrough, it might be a short-lived one, in which case we'll just move on to the next one, uh, you know, shortly after. But, <laughs> Iron Man enabled, normal difficulty, not going to give the AI any other uh, buffs or anything like that. But, uh, how many hours until release? It is tomorrow at noon Eastern time, I think. So, tomorrow, so 24 plus 26 hours, I think. I think. Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, everybody? Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's dive in. So the Sheikh or the Prince Al Qasim Ibn Yahya of the Idrisid Sultanate is who we are playing as, and it'll come with a lot of special challenges as we dive in and kick things off. Oh, right, of course, gotta do my uh, my save game. Uh, so just to touch on a couple of the challenges from uh from here jeffrey nelson absolutely i need to get more into the habit of doing that i try to be uh yes yeah, I, I i was thinking that a little bit uh, iron man mode youtube sarko is that there is only one save it auto saves and you cannot um you cannot uh like go back and, and fix mistakes or anything like that um so yeah uh that's the uh, that's the thing and i saw someone mention or ask about are there reaches of Europe, if I'm not mistaken? So this is the extent of the map, for those of you that missed it earlier. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and dive on in to uh, some details about about our, our kind of starting situation. So we are Prince al Qasim. We are Zaid the Muslim, which is a specific faith. And it's got its own like special kind of tenets and its own opinion on what, can, what counts as a sin or what counts as a virtue. Uh, it's got its own rules in terms of like, who can um, uh, who can gain titles, things like that? Uh, what uh, what we think about you know other faiths and th there's a lot of details over here. And if you've kept up with like the dev diaries and stuff, this will all uh, kind of make sense. But I, I am also going to be releasing videos that for those of you that are that haven't kept up with like the hundred dev diaries or whatever. Um, yes, wow, perfect timing to say, to ask that uh, Hugh in there. Yes, I will be uh, releasing beginner's guide videos. Uh, this entire week, in fact, should have quite a few that will get you up and running so that you won't have, um, you won't have, you know, you, you won't get lost because there is quite a bit. And I'll try and explain it as it's all kind of relevant. Um, so, yeah, so we are, we follow Zayedism. Uh, again, that is a Muslim faith. So Muslim is the religion. It is an Abrahamic religion. And among those religions, we are Zaydi. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> we, as the, as the ruler of this land, are Zaidi. However, uh, the lands that we hold uh, are Muwalla. And uh, just in case, thank you for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying the start of this show. Uh, thank you very much. And, oh my, we had a few back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back there. Martin, Vickery, and Edwin Wessels, thank you as well for subscribing. I hope you all are enjoying. Yes, expect much more Crusader Kings on this channel. So if you're interested in that, then do hit that subscribe button. My favorite new feature? Oof. Yo, that's a tough question. I'll be honest. Like, how am I supposed to... <laughs> how am I supposed to, uh, to pinpoint? Uh, I'll think about it over the course of the stream. Um, so, so uh, right. We are uh, Zaidi, but our, our holdings are uh, Muwalla, <laughs> which is a problem because they aren't happy about being ruled by someone who is not of the same faith. Uh, also, we are Maghrebi, which, you know, not only is the place of the greatest empire to come in this Crusader Kings 3 playthrough, but it's also a source of wonderful, delicious tea. Uh, and it's also a source of more issues because the culture in this area is Baranis. And if you take a look at, uh, there are a few different map modes. We can take a look at the faith map mode and you'll see this entire region does not match our faith. And if we take a look at the culture map mode, this entire region doesn't match our culture either. So this is going to be compounding our issues because every time we are directly in control of a place that doesn't have matching culture or faith, we're going to be suffering from popular opinion penalties. The people of these holdings are upset at us for not, you know, think of it like, uh, <laughs> oh, oh no, I can't believe I'm going to say this. Think of it like taxation without representation. That's basically what's happening. That's basically what's happening. Uh, also, really quickly, I missed a couple here. Uh, oh, I don't know how to read that one. Laminotweirds? 
XX Gaming. Thank you for subscribing. And Darren Mick, thank you for subscribing as well. Michael Swanson, Crotus One, thank you all for subscribing. Um, uh, am I the guy who did the Beginner's Guide to Warhammer Total War? Yes, I did uh, like a 40 episode Beginner's Guide to, uh, to Total War uh, Warhammer. That's right. Um, and I intend to do, well, maybe not 40 episodes, but I intend to do the same kind of deep dive with Crusader Kings as well. So again, everyone kind of knows what's going on. Uh, all right, so challenges over here explained a little bit. So now you understand uh, the thing is, at our, at our starting level, we are the equivalent of a count. Uh, so we directly hold on to these lands. As we grow bigger and we get access to some of the duchies, which is the next level up, and for our... Uh, for our culture, duchies are emirates. So we go from being a sheikdom to being an emirate, uh, and then to being a sultanate. And actually, at an empire level, I forget what it's called, but the Maghrebi Empire is the Empire of Maghreb. Okay. Uh, and sorry, what was that about uh, a restoration of, of Carthage that you were talking about, the Dapper Hat? Maybe? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, so, when we become an emir, and we, and we rule over an emirate, we can give our vassals who match religion and, and culture to these local places, we can give our vassals control so that these guys feel a bit more comfortable, that the person in charge of their region is similar to them. But until we get to that stage, we're going to have some struggles. We're going to have some serious struggles. And, uh, and that'll be a potential you know, quick end <laughs> to this campaign. Uh, SKC79, thank you for subscribing. And Jens Gamer, thank you as well. Will I do another run as another king? Absolutely. Oh, this we're not just playing Crusader Kings once on this channel, man. A, a Crusader Kings 2 changed strategy games for me. Th that's two. Changed strategy games for me completely. My life was reborn. I love Crusader Kings 2. And to be able to make Crusader Kings 3 a part of this channel, I cannot even begin to express my excitement. Like, honestly, words will not do it justice. But, all right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's get some more done over here. I'm sorry. Uh, so, the Sheikdom of Garb is a Sheikdom, like, like I said. We are directly subservient to the Sultan of the Idrisid Sultanate. Now, the Idrisid Sultanate, Sultan, Sultan, well, I'm butchering that pronunciation. The Sultan is actually our father. Which is an interesting start as well, because in my opinion, typically with a Crusader Kings playthrough, you try to, you try to, if you're in this position, you, you kill your liege lord, or you try to find a way to kill your liege lord, and, uh, and, and you try to uh, get power that way. But in this case, our father has only the one child, the one son, and that's us. So when he passes eventually, uh, his, his primary title, which is the Sultanate itself, passes on to us. So in a way, we want to work with our Liege Lord. We're like, actively working with our Liege Lord is for our benefit. Now, should he die in the process, all good, right? All good, because then we take full control of everything here, take on all of his vassals and everything. So I feel like that's also a pretty interesting kind of uh, starting uh, situation. Now... What we're ultimately hoping to do, like I kind of alluded to in you know my, my little teases and whatnot, is I'm hoping to potentially create the Maghrebi Empire first. Um, we could start with that, or we could make some progress towards it, and then push towards avenging the Battle of Tours. Now, the Battle of Tours is of extreme importance in the history of this part of the world. Uh, some of you may or may not know, but it is basically what stopped the uh, Muslim invasion into Europe uh, many years ago, about a hundred, over a hundred years ago from where we are right now. So what we can do is if we can completely control all of Iberia and Southern Francia, then we can, um, we have basically avenged the Battle of Tours. And I feel like what our, what our young boy here is growing up to think and believe and, and, and trust in is that the Umayyad dynasty, the Umayyad Sultanate failed, uh, you know, the, the, the Muslim uh, empire, if you will, though we're not a caliphate, but you know what I mean, they, they failed Mus Muslimdom, you know, is that the equivalent of Christendom? You know what I mean. Uh, the Umayyads were failures, so we must rise up to the occasion, and we, we trust our father and the Idrisid Sultanate will do that, but if he doesn't, then we will. That's kind of like my, it, what, where my head's at. All right. 
I think that's enough of an introduction. I think we can finally hit play and, and, and take a look at what's going on. Uh, you only need sadistic to act against your children. All other children are fair game as is. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I try to temper my, my excitement in pre-release because I like, I, I believe that's important. Uh, but I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to lie, man. Yo, this is chef's kiss. Like, mwah, chef's kiss. Uh, okay. Now we're a child. So some things are a little different when you're a kid. Uh, normally you get to pick a lifestyle focus when you're an adult, which affects like what you're doing. Um, thank you. Yes. Oh my God. The word was escaping me. Um, so yeah, but, but as a child, you can't pick your lifestyle focus yet. You pick an education focus. And the idea here is that based on your childhood trait. So al Kasim is a rowdy young boy. Uh, he's naturally inclined towards his martial skill and his intrigue skill. Now, martial skill is what makes us... Now, again, those of you familiar with Crusader Kings, I hope you don't mind that I explain some of these things because I know some of these are the same as CK2. But for anybody who's joining and is curious, I just want to give at least surface-level explanations. I hope you all are cool with that. So, martial is very important to have as a high skill level because it directly influences how big your armies can be and it improves how good you are at leading in a battle. Uh, whereas, intrigue is really good for doing, you know, sneaky stuff. Like if you want to, say, murder somebody or you want to kidnap somebody and torture them in your dungeon, all that kind of stuff relies on intrigue. Um, <laughs> we've got a punching lad here. Yeah, absolutely. That's, the, what I, that's what I'm thinking. He's, he's naturally focused on his martial education. Now, we can change that. You can only change it once per child, though, so you have to be very picky about that. And you can see because we're rowdy, we're naturally inclined to a martial or intrigue education, whereas a learning education, not so much. We're not very interested in that. Intrigue is pretty good. Intrigue is pretty good. And I'm wondering if I want to go chasing after intrigue because it's already high. See, what happens is, as we, uh, when we hit adulthood, what we want to do is we want to pick a teacher who can teach us in that skill set that we want to focus on. So, for example, let's say we want to go with, uh, I, I can't actually read Arabic uh, in HD, so, uh, so please keep it in English. <laughs> I will assume that says, Salam Alaikum, because that makes sense, in which case, Salam Alaikum Salam, I suppose. Well, that's about the extent. Um, all right, so, 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 where were we? Uh, we need to get a teacher because we're a child and we can find anybody to educate us in our court. We can even find someone outside of our court if we wanted to. What we can actually do is we can even get our culture and faith changed if we want to do that through education, but we don't. We're, it's Maghrebi madness, right? We're going to stick with, with uh, Maghreb. Um, now, in order to pick someone, like, should we, you know what, chat, I'm going to throw it out for you. I want to hear what chat has to say. Intrigue or martial? Let's think about the pros and cons, and I'm going to keep an eye on chat to see, like, to try and get a temperature here. Having a high marshal means bigger armies and being better at leading in battle. But eventually, our marshal doesn't matter as much as the marshal of our vassals and things like that. So that, that, that's, that's okay. That's okay. Um, it'll, it'll hurt us a bit at the beginning, but I think we can, we can cope with that. Whereas intrigue is, again, good for, you know kidnapping people, murdering people, that kind of stuff, protecting yourself from that kind of stuff too. Um, isn't it awalakum salam? I thought, I don't know, maybe my uh, <laughs> my memories of Morocco are, are far, far fast fading. Um, but yeah, so let me th throw your throw your thoughts in chat, folks, as I, as I explain some more things. And as I also mentioned that if you are interested in seeing more Crusader Kings 3 on this channel, I would love to know uh, well, first of all, it's very clear by seeing, you know, the number of viewers right now. But if you leave a like as well, then after the stream is done, I can look back at all the numbers and everything and I get a quick understanding. So if you're enjoying so far and you'd like to see more, you know, uh, smash that like button, if you will. Um, God, <laughs> I hate saying it that way. Oh, my. Okay. Marshall, Marshall, Intrigue, Marshall, Ransom. I assume that means uh, Intrigue. Intrigue, OP, Intrigue, Intrigue, Marshall, Intrigue, Marshall, Intrigue, Intrigue. Man. <laughs> Jeez, uh, intrigue. This is like a mixed bag intrigue. Yeah, okay. Let's let, okay. Lots of intrigue coming at the end there. All right, fine. Intrigue it is. Play the long game. Intrigue. You've got a battle to avenge, Marshall. Must we avenge it directly, or or do we avenge it through uh, through our our children and our dynasty as a whole? Right, right. Um, so fine. I, I, it looks like uh, it looks like uh, intrigue is getting. 
Yeah, that's the, that's the that's the thing, Peter. But it's uh, you know the call of the people says uh, says intrigue. So let's go with intrigue. But that doesn't mean we can't be righteous and and have uh, have intrigue skill. Um, so sure, let's do that, and we'll see because the education we end up with might swing either way. And these aren't the stats we're going to end up with anyway. They will get bumped up as we age. It's just that the education focus we take and the educator we take will influence what gets the highest education trait. And to look at that, let's take a look at my dad real quick over here. He's got the education trait of brilliant strategist. That means he had a martial, like a martial focused education and a good educator. And so he got that plus eight to his martial. And he gets a better uh, lifetime experience gain, uh, lifestyle, sorry, experience gain for the martial uh, chain of, you know, perks and stuff like that. So that's kind of the... Um, that, that's where the educator comes of value. But folks, all right, let, let's uh, let, let's go with intrigue. Let's go with intrigue. It seems like that's winning the uh, the quote unquote vote over here, the informal vote. Let's go with intrigue. Why not? It's already the higher stat. Uh, we are inclined to it. So sure. Well, now again, we could only do this once. So we're committing to this decision over here. Um, so let's go ahead and I guess Maghrebi madness can mean two things, right? a mad warrior or, or mad in many other ways. So intrigue education it is. Let's choose that as our focus. And now, now, this isn't the most optimal way to do it, but now <laughs> we should seek an educator. We want someone who has high... Oh, this is actually pretty good. Huh. Okay. That's not bad. We want somebody who has high intrigue skill themselves so they're, you know, they can teach us their, their ways. But if we take a look at our realm, what I was considering is that because we are a uh, clan government type, because we're a clan government type, the number of warriors and taxes we get from our vassals below us depends entirely on how much they like us. Wali Yusuf over here. See, this is why sticking with Marshall might have worked out better for us. Because what we could have done, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I'm not a min-maxer. I'm a role player. So I'm not like, I'm not about that. It's okay for me. Um, but what we could have done is we could have sent ourselves to be educated by Wally Yusuf himself. And he would be like, wow, you trust me with a close family relation, in this case, myself. In that case, I like you more. I can't believe you trust me like that. That's amazing. That's a great bond. And so our relations would be better. And so we would have, we would get more, you know, soldiers and stuff from them. There's other things we can do to improve relations as well. So we'll work on some other uh, aspects of that. Now, this is a Republic-type vassal. Every vassal has their own type of government, depending on kind of how far you've, uh, you've, you've spread. Um, so, so our Republic government type, they have their pre-established kind of contribution that is set. But with our clan-type vassals, we can, uh, we can modify, we can affect that, I should say. Not modify, but affect that. Will your choice of educator support good relations with your mentor, like in CK2? Yes, it will. It will. Uh, it does, Peter. Uh, try going a little more. Uh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't catch that, uh, Sakith. I don't understand that. Intrigue helps you protect from scheming vassals. That too, Victor. Yeah, it'll keep us alive from that. So sure, let's go ahead and uh, him. Me is our Ferris, which is the equivalent of a knight. I love that there's flavor to everything. So let's go ahead and uh, and work with this guy. I mean, he's an amateurish plotter. Mm. Now, if we don't stay in our own court, we can take a look at others as well. Like I can take a look at my father's court. Uh, I can offer myself up as a ward into my father's court. And take a look at, uh, oh my god, they're, they're even worse for intrigue, aren't they? Jeez. <laughs> I mean, I suppose we could stick to our own uh, our own court. Uh, who else? I could take a look at the Emir of Fez. My cousin. I could take a look at uh, his court as well if I send myself over. Man, intrigue is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we might have, might have shot ourselves in the foot. Now, we don't have to stay within our own realm. We can actually go to another realm as well. But, and here's where Crusader Kings, like, as a series, just shines. If I go to another realm, they can totally kill me. Like, they can, they can do stuff to me that would cause me trouble, right? So there's a risk factor there. Let's stick to our own, let's stick to our own, uh, high, our, our okay intrigue level individual. Again, it might not be perfect, but I think it, it, it does the trick. We'll give it to Himbi because he is one of our champions. It'll improve our relations. So why not uh, why not do that? He is Baranis. Um, so I could opt to convert my culture or my faith to match his. But again, like I said, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that, right? We're going to stay as is. Let's go ahead and send that proposal. Um, oh, gotcha, gotcha a second. I was just looking at uh, chat real quick. Uh, 
Abrahamovich, thank you for subscribing. And Mike and something else, thank you very much for that super chat. I can't be here for long, but have you told my jokes? And not yet. When they become relevant, I shall throw them in. But thank you very much for the super chat, my good friend. Spymaster has 14 intrigue, which is pretty high. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Why did he... He's not... What? Why are you not my... I could remove my... How did he... Why did he not show up for my high... Uh, it's okay. One, well, it's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm trying not to be too slow over here because I am being relatively slow. I, I know that. And I'm gonna try and fix that. Now, anyway, he should be able to educate us again. He's only an amateurish plotter, which is yes, unfortunate. Let's check this council over here real quick. This guy's a thrifty clerk instead. Okay. Well, we'll stick with what we've got now. Um, what else do we want to do over here? Now, unfortunately, because we're a child, there's only so many ways we can improve relations. Uh, guardianship is one, and sending mon monetary gifts is another. We don't have enough money for that, though, so that's unfortunate. Um, and we should also, before we actually kick time off, is take a look at our council over here and see if we need to make any adjustments to what they're up to. Uh, these guys... Yeah, I'm glad to hear that, Victor. There's going to be a lot of role play here for sure. Um, Google Nutzer, what to do is, uh, is hang out over here. <laughs> hang out over here. Um... Hamza Malik says, at least you won't have to worry about other high intrigue relatives. That is true. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Um, so, this is our council. We can take a look at our liege's council as well. That's, of course, our father. And in fact, if, uh, if we do well and we are really good at something, we might become a council member as well in our father's council. Uh, or I should say in our liege's council. He just happens to be our father here. Um, we have an imam. And the way this faith works is that uh, the imam doesn't, unless I'm mistaken, if I recall correctly, the imam doesn't steal everyone's money and hold on to it and only give it to you if they like you. Uh, that is a common factor in, uh, in Catholic, I think all Christian faiths, there's, there's specific faiths have that where like you have to have your realm priest like you, otherwise you don't get any money from any of the churches or temples or anything like that. Um, so that's our, that's our, uh, imam over here. Currently he's working on religious relations, which is improving our piety, which is a very important resource for us because, uh, some of the wars we'll be declaring, uh, such as if we go up to, to conquer the Walaya of Ceuta, you always need what's called a casus belli, which is like a, like a, a cause for war. And we have the option of holy wars. Uh, because of the religious, you know, differences in this part of the world. So we could go with something that costs us prestige, or we could go with something that costs us piety. So both of those are extremely useful resources for us. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep our, uh, our, our imam working on that. Our chancellor, let's get you working on domestic affairs. Let's try and improve relations with our vassals, uh, because that will, like I said, it'll give us more troops and things like that. Our steward here, uh, let's keep you collecting taxes, that's fine, and our marshal will organize levies, giving us larger armies, hopefully we can use. And let's go ahead and get our spy master over here, looking for secrets in our own court. So if there's any plots or anything against us or anything like that, we'll, we'll do that for now. Um, and, and secrets help us, uh, secrets help us blackmail other people or convince other people to do something or things, there's a lot of things you can do if you find out people's secrets. So let's go ahead and do that in our own court first. Now, with the Imam, we can convert religion, and with the, uh, with the chance, no, not the Chancellor, where am I? Yeah, with the uh, Steward, we can convert culture as well. But that stuff takes a very long time, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna slow us down with, uh, with that. We'll, we're, we're keeping them earning us money, and eventually we hope to grow quickly enough that uh, we'll be able to, uh, you know, just put in different, uh, different um, vassals of the, of the appropriate cultures. I saw someone ask me my, uh, my succession laws. It is male-only Confederate partition. That means only men can inherit. Uh, and Confederate parti partition means that um, the, the, the titles are split among children. Um, the good thing is that the, the primary title of our father is the entire Sultanate. So even if he has a lot of other sons, we will still get that top-tier title because we are his, uh, his primary heir. Um, right, I could take a look at a different Chancellor. I don't know if I have... Yeah, nine, nine is the highest. I mean, we could go around and try and invite somebody to our court. We could uh, find characters who are good at diplomacy and see if we can't invite to court. A lot of people won't accept. Again, we have a lot of, like, uh, struggles in terms of uh, 
you know, faith and people not liking us and things like that. So we'll, we'll stick with what we have for now. We'll stick with what we have for now. Um, but my first target is going to be the Walaya of Seota, I think. Um, they have a decent military strength. Matches ours. I think it's actually superior to ours. And they do have a fort over here with a garrison of 250. So we need more than that. Whoa, hey, I, I cannot stop that or I will time you out. <laughs> it's really that simple. No spamming. S stop it. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. Don't do that. Um, uh, Ronak Pool. Hello, hello. How's it going? Fan from India? Man, saying fan from India just makes me think about the heat. Get a new chancellor. Oh, yeah, we looked at that already. Not to delay your progress, but maybe look for a good first wife candidate soon as well. Yes, that is definitely the next step that I was actually just about to touch on. So these guys, they are a little bit stronger than us. So I would like to marry in the hopes of getting a alliance. Oh, this is actually pretty good. I was not expecting to get an alliance with an entire shakedom right off the bat over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at alliance power to organize things. Now, I could ally with like smaller tier um, individuals, but why would I do that? Now, the, the difficulty here is going to be we are going to be of different faith and culture still. But the Sheikdom of Tagaza, I mean, they're close enough that they could assist us in our wars. If uh, if he uh, if he spams again, silhouette of a stranger, I'll I'll get in there and do that myself. Uh, it takes a second to to do that, so he stopped. That, that's all that matters. Um, so let's uh, let's yeah okay. So let's go ahead and see. We've got two options over here. One's 17, one's 19. Uh, decent stats. Now your spouse actually helps you. Uh, command over your realm as well like their stats make a difference and that really high stewardship is calling to me right now a high stewardship allows you to gain more money from taxes from your vassals there's other stuff as well but that's what i'm thinking primarily uh it's either that or a wife with much more martial which again will help us but i think uh mayasa bint mazig of masufa is is the right call over here uh, get us that relationship going she's diligent brave and temperate you know what i like that I feel like she's a she's an ideal pick over here. Sure. Let's go with her. Let's go there. She's 17. She looks beautiful. Yeah. She's her prowess is quite good. In fact, is her I mean she's an adult now, so her prowess is going to be better than mine. I'm a child. Uh so sure, Mayasa with your high stewardship and high diplomacy, which can really help our realm. Uh we are looking at an alliance that will bring in another approximately 600 soldiers, which is kind of all we need. Uh, to, to make a difference. They will accept us. That's good. The only unfortunate thing is playing as a uh, government, or sorry, sorry, playing as a faith that has uh, uh, polygamy means we won't get any prestige from, uh, from marriages. It's a very quick way to improve your prestige. Well, not quick, but it is an effective way to improve your prestige is marrying up, but because of our uh, our male focused polygamy uh we will not be getting prestige from these marriages uh oh by the way i should point out we have this inheritable trait sayid which is uh because of the blood of the prophet flows through us so we pass that on to our kids at all times all right let's go ahead and send this proposal out get this marriage going uh make sure it's in our house yes okay good stuff that alliance will be quite helpful and i think we're finally ready to hit play Jeez, that was a long enough uh, setup time uh, really quickly, gonna look at chat, and then we're gonna do that. Kanad Apage, a page, a page. I, I apologize. I butchered that. I'm so sorry. Uh, Kanad, thank you for subscribing, though. Please let me know in chat how I should pronounce your name. I hate getting them wrong. She'll be 27 by the time you're of age. Nothing wrong with that. She could teach me a trick or two. What's up? <laughs> uh, they're, yeah, they're they're oldish, but hey, listen, we're gonna have multiple wives to give us multiple babies. PE started small in more ways than territory. <laughs> listen, Esteban. Listen, you. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and hit play. There are a couple of issues. I'm in line to inherit titles. We already talked about that. I've got wars I can declare. Uh, we talked about that because of, you know, the holy wars and stuff. And I'm second in line to inherit Fez as well. Uh, on which note, we'll actually take a look at our um, our, our dynasty. Uh, so, the, the, the marriage is going on, even though he doesn't like us all that much. He is terrified of us, actually. Hold on, why is he terrified? We're not dreadful. What? Is he a coward? 
He's craven. Oh, that's why. That's why. You can actually scare people into uh, like trusting you or, or sorry, into not stabbing you in the back and not joining factions against you uh, if, if you have a high enough dread or if they are cowards. Uh, but anyway, excellent. We've got ourselves a, uh, not a wife, but we are betrothed. We're not married yet. We're betrothed. Marriage happens when we hit adulthood, which is 16. Um, but if we look at our dynasty, it's a fairly small one, the Idrisid dynasty. Um, and it is actually a very important one in the history of Morocco, which is also pretty cool. Um, but uh, as you can see, there's just me, Prince al Qasim, my father, Sultan Yahya, and then Emir Ali and Idris Idrisid, which is the most creative of names, uh, our cousins over here. Uh, so th that's, our, that's the extent of our family, a pretty small one. We should be able to climb the ranks pretty easily. Uh, all right, alliance formed. Do we dive into a war right away? We can we can push to take Ceuta. I mean, hold on a second. I need to make sure. He doesn't like us all that much. So there is a chance that he won't join us. There is a chance he won't join us. So you can rename anything, even counties? Yes, you can, actually. Uh, you can you can go right in. And you can rename the titles. You can rename the, uh, the holdings themselves. Well, you actually have... You, uh... <laughs> Natalie, male focus polygamy. Wow, I entered on an interesting note. Uh, yep. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we kind of just started. Yeah, it hasn't been too long. It hasn't been too long. Um, man, we need to <laughs> maybe make some progress. Uh, but um, oh damn, where was I? Yeah, we can we can dive into this war. He might not join us, which is scary. I'm not gonna lie. We could also ask our father to become an ally of ours, but we're not. Uh, we're we're not. Um, <laughs> we're family, but I guess for him, we're not family enough for him to accept the alliance right off the bat. What about the uh, the Emir here, my cousin? Uh, we cannot negotiate an alliance over here because we're not... Oh, right, we're not... It needs to be close family. My apologies, right? He's a, he's a step removed from us. Uh, so let's go ahead and declare this war right off the bat. Let's let time progress a little bit here. We're maxed out. I could... Hmm... If I wait, I fear that the Umayyad will head down south. So let's let's do it. There's no time to waste. The only concern with declaring a war prematurely, if our if our friend doesn't join us, is that we um. The longer a war goes on, the longer an offensive war goes on, the unhappier people will be, and people are already unhappy because we don't have a matching culture or a matching faith. So it is dangerous. It is dangerous. Um, what have we got over here? You need to earn your father's respect. Yeah, basically, that's basically it. Uh, I do believe I he sent a proposal to a 17-year-old. It's a, it's a betrothal. It's perfectly fine. It's a betrothal. Uh, are there less holdings per county? I don't think so. It depends on the county. Some have up to five or six. Um, so I, I don't think it's less per, per county, but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Uh, now, what I think we'll do is we'll... There's only the, the county of Ceuta. The, the duchy, we don't even have enough prestige to call that uh, war. Um... So I think we just go in and conquer county over here. The other option, of course, is we can, if we take a look at our council, we can go and get our imam to fabricate claims on a county, which is a different kind of uh, of um, war you can declare. Costs a different bit of prestige and all that. But I've got him improving our piety right now, which is what I think I'd prefer him to do. I think. I think. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and uh, declare a war over here. We'll, we'll go for the, the regular conquest over here, because do, doing the Holy War will cost us a lo all of our piety, basically. So, uh, I don't want to do that. But, one way or another, we are slaughtering heretics. Uh, conquer the county. Yeah, make sure Ceuta is our, uh, our objective over here. They are inferior to us. Well, I mean, with our allies, maybe, but who knows if they'll join. Who knows if they'll join. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and declare this war. I've, I've dawdled enough. Conquer County, yes, 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 good stuff. Gain fame. Yes, okay, cool. Let's do it. War declared. War declared. Um, if your character dies without an heir, do you lose the game and move on to a sibling or cousin? Uh, if you die, so you, uh, as long as the heir is in your own uh, dynasty, you continue playing as that heir. So if we die, then we will start playing as our father, if we die before him. Uh, you win Crusader Kings as a dynasty, as a family. Uh, it's it's fast and furious up in here. It's all about family. Uh, now there is obviously personal glory matters as well, but uh, but that's how you continue playing on if uh, if you die. I keep forgetting that you can use WASD. <laughs> uh, no, no, not declare war. Sorry, 
Call to war, call to war. He will not accept. Oh no! No! You absolute. <clears throat> okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. Um, what we can do is we can look to hopefully make enough money quickly enough that he will uh, join us. So I'm not going to raise my armies yet because if we raise our armies, uh, we're going to suffer with our income. Uh, what we can hope as well is that our uh, counselor, our uh, steward here, with his 15 stewardship, he might actually get us a nice windfall sooner rather than later. And that, that might work out for us. That war music is beautiful, yeah. Uh, you Can you start playing as a member of a cadet branch of a dynasty? You can make a cadet branch. I don't know if you can... Hmm. I've checked with House Carling, which is the one that's most likely to... I don't actually... I don't know. Can you start with a... As a cadet branch? I don't... I'll need to check that. But you can always make your own cadet branch. Uh, it, it becomes a decision. If you're powerful enough, it becomes a decision. Okay, he's just going to roll in. Uh, all right, this is not good. This is actually really not good. This is going to end sooner than I'd expected. <laughs> uh, buddy, this is... How can you... How can you do me like this? How can you do me like this? I, sh I could just break the betrothal. If I break the betrothal, I don't know who else I can... Um, yeah, 2 0 on the shots on own foot counter, apparently. Jeez. All right, let's see. We, we just got to play the dodging game a little bit. Got to play the dodging game a little bit. And um, and then hopefully, hopefully either our, either our father will be willing to join us or or uh, we will be able to, we'll get a nice like cash injection that allow us to raise some higher tier troops. Now, I can actually check. Uh, well, let's let's move through. I don't want to commit to anything that might cause us trouble here. <sighs> the chances are even if we engage them in battle. We have higher quality troops, and our commander here, Zafir, he is a desert warrior, which gives us an advantage in dry lands, which is what we're fighting on if we were to engage over here. And he's also got a high like advantage rating anyway. So I mean, we could risk it. We could risk it. I'm tempted, but our numbers are so much fewer. Uh, they're probably going to put Salah, which I guess is Saleh, um, uh, under under siege. We could let them do that for a little bit, see if we get that windfall or that alliance as that's happening, and then strike at like the last, you know, last possible moment. That would be, that would be nice. That would be nice. God, I cannot believe that alliance screwed me like that. I can call, no, I can't, because he's a... I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> All right, we got this. We got this. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We got this. We got this. Yeah, they're obviously going to hit uh, Sala over here. Now, if they take our capital... Oh, they can't. Is our garrison... Oh, they can't. They don't have enough numbers. That's wonderful, actually. All right, so we play the dodging game a little bit. Now, this is still problematic. This is still problem... Oh. Use those waypoints over here. The reason why this is problematic is, as I mentioned earlier, as this war goes on, this popular opinion will continue to drop. Um, because we're in an offensive war. Oh, it looks like they're going to catch us, actually. My hesitance here. My hesitation here might have cost me. Oh, dear. Come on, baby. We got this. We got this. I, I'm screwed. Uh, nah, you know what? This is actually not going so poorly. This is actually not going so poorly. The Wali himself is in the attacking army over here. If we capture him, if we capture him, this war could actually be over in our favor. Please tell me we get him. Please tell me we get him. Please tell me we get him. Come on, baby. Come on. Hold on. Uh, there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> first of all, first of all, uh, Brendarius Wallace, thank you very much for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying the show. I feel like I missed a, a bunch of subscribers earlier as well, and I apologize if I did. My my Streamlabs is not, like, keeping up over here with me. Um, uh, 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 Afsara Tasnim, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I believe that's... That's all. All right, cool. 400 viewers. Oh, my Lord. I hope you all are having a good time. If you are, uh, <laughs> I mean, I suppose you are if you're watching and staying. But uh, if you hit the like button, it really helps me make a judgment call uh, after uh, you know, after the stream. It seems to me like, yes, I definitely should keep Crusader Kings 3 super active on the channel. That's the plan, folks. So if you're new to this channel, it's your first exposure, and you're watching just for more Crusader Kings 3 action, you'll find a lot of it here. Uh, it would be nice if you could uh, sally out and catch the enemy on a second flank with your standing army. Uh, hmm. 
you know, I've never tried that. I'll be honest, I haven't tried that. Uh, Siege the... Well, we don't have to... Yeah, we're, 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 we're okay now. The uh, problem is that even if we, it isn't a proper PE playthrough, if the game doesn't try to screw him in the first few episodes, ain't that the truth, man? Ain't that the truth? Um, but yeah, we can we can go and shut down their, uh, their, their, their castle now because we won that. Now, while we won't be able to put it under siege, I might want to actually wipe this army out before it comes back to haunt me. Now, what's going on here? Uh, Chris, Christopher. Christopher? Christopher? I'm guessing. Uh, has been pestering me for a long time now. He has everyone believing he is a saint, but he mocks me relentlessly for every tiny mistake I make. I cannot get him to stop no matter what I do. He is the worst. Oh man, Christopher has become my bully. And these guys are gonna... These guys are gonna... Uh... <laughs> You're gonna stress us out. It's 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 good fun. Uh, glad to hear it, Belvedere. Glad to hear it. Uh, is this the reason for the blackout for me this weekend? Oh man, there's a couple reasons for why this weekend was a, a blackout. Uh, this is one of them. I've got so much Crusader Kings three stuff coming out this week. Super pumped. Uh, if we can hit 500 viewers, this will be my most uh, I think numerous stream. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, Christopher is the worst. All right, we've captured Buai, the Imam for Walid Tafan and Abdul Rahman, the Ferris. Okay, we've captured a couple people. We could ransom them out. Oh, man. <laughs> Your liege lord does not love you enough. How does that feel? How does that feel? Uh, so this is Bawai, who was the imam, okay? And Abdul Rahman, we can go ahead. Wow, really? That's hilarious. I was really hoping we could get some ransom and get some money that way. But, uh, nope. Nope. All right, fair enough. Let's chase this army down, though. Try and shut it down on the retreat. Uh, we did better than I'd anticipated. Now, we only get replenishment to our army if we're within our own territory. Um, so, uh, so we're taking a bit of a risk, I guess, following them through. But we did well there. I hope, hopefully I'm not being too cocky over here. Hopefully I'm not being too cocky over here. Uh, yeah, just, it, it is just a bunch of kids bullying each other. But it's uh, being a child is so fun. Uh, and I really hope this triggers in this playthrough. But you can get a pet dog. So really, if you're asking me my opinion of what I think about Crusader Kings, you know, do I like it, etc., etc., you can get a pet dog. That pet dog can come with you to council meetings. You can pet the pet dog. There is a decision you can make if you have a pet dog to pet the pet dog. And that reduces your stress. So, listen. Is this the most immersive game of 2020? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a ridiculous amount of fun with this game. I'm having a ridiculous amount of fun with this game. Um... That's just, that's just the cold, honest truth. Yeah, look at that. We will probably win, says the game. Let's go. Let's go, Zafir. Show them the meaning of being a kafir. God, I hope I got that word right. Again, my Arabic is not as uh, good as it perhaps maybe once used to be, but kafir, I believe, is the word for infidel in Arabic. And if someone in chat knows better, please correct me if I am wrong. Uh, ooh. While performing his duties as my spy master, Wali Pamin has uncovered a secret held by my Chancellor Zafir. He has secretly taken my courtier, Lala, as a lover. Ooh la la, indeed. This is useful to know. So uh, now, now what we can do is we can use that secret. Well, let's go ahead and accept it first. We can use this secret to... Um, I actually called my dog Unkid in that playthrough. <laughs> um, so we can blackmail to get a hook on them. Now, hooks are, are helpful in, uh, in that you can get people to do things they might not otherwise be okay with. Exactly, Kino. 11 out of 10. Has dog. <laughs> um, or we can expose a secret. Exposing secrets can be super helpful because it can make people less liked. It can, make, it can do that kind of stuff where, uh, depending on the secret you're exposing, it can cause them some trouble. Uh, now, let's just quickly see if our victories so far here have maybe impressed upon our friend here to join us now he, he still won't accept again if we're lucky we'll 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 get a valuable prisoner and then we can uh, force the, the peace over here come on in comes another battle we should be okay over here yeah we're doing well our ferris was wounded that's unfortunate that is unfortunate wali yusuf uh that's uh wali yusuf i just want to show you what a wound is like wali of course that's not gonna work yusuf I said, Yusef. First name matches Yusef. Wally Yusef is wounded. So you can see that does cause a lot of issues. However, it can be um, fixed. Gothic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it, it, it can be... It, it can get better. 
Uh, but it is going to hurt his capabilities for the next little bit. Not going to affect this battle, though, as we have won it. Beautiful. Two battles, one. Good stuff. We can keep chasing them. That's the other way to get war score maxed out. You bas Basically, we have to get this war score number to 100%. Ah, uh, we've already done enough from, from battles. Again, if, if uh, Wally Tefan is the commander, so if we can get... If we can, if we can get him as a prisoner, that's the war done. That's immediate demand, or rather, enforce demands. Uh, so let's go ahead and chase him into, oh, into neutral territory, rushing off to Malaya. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> we'll kill you there just the same. Now, okay, let's try and, we have to cut him off. Ah. Yeah. Oh, no, okay, looks like we'll catch up to him, hopefully, before he gets away from us. I should have, I should have caught him looping back. Come on now, tell me we'll get here. Battle in nine days, he will be, oh yeah, we're going to catch him. We're going to catch him. Good stuff, good stuff. I would never whip the dog. Oh, okay, good. That we wounded theirs. Oh. They just we just completely wrecked that army. But unfortunately, unfortunately, their commander got away. That's not ideal. Still making some money. The, the ultimate hope we have over here is that we can go ahead and give this guy a gift. We need 35 gold. So we're almost there. Just send him a gift. Make him like us a bit more. And then... Um, and then... Uh, get him to join this war for us. It really is unfortunate because all we need is 250 soldiers. That's all we need is 250 soldiers. The other option, the other option would be to, uh, no, nah, keep up, keep up the finding secrets. Uh, the other option is we could create a men-at-arms regiment of light footmen when we have 50 gold. That is 100 soldiers, so that would give us enough numbers, um, to put the, the, the to put Seuta under siege. However, I, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, you can see now the offensive war is causing people to be uh, upset. So we, we need to rush it. So let's when we hit 35 gold, we'll send a gift down to our who I thought was our ally, you piece of trash, and um, and then we'll we'll get his help to finish this war off. The Dapper Hat, I'm sorry to hear that, but good luck. Hope hope all is safe and well where you're at. After the war, break the betrothal. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted. What a nonsense move, right? But the reality is once we send him a gift, that relations improvement will last a fairly long time. So we can use that alliance then more easily for some of our other, um, you know, glorious pushes we'll be making. You've got a thousand hours on too. I'm so scared to find three boring. Please tell me it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> there's so much new stuff. And at launch, there's so much stuff. Again, if you missed it earlier, there's so much stuff you can play as uh, at launch. Uh, there's a lot of... I, 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 I can't get into the realm of a review, but I, I'm enjoying this thoroughly. Uh, go home and replenish. I guess I could go home and replenish. It takes time to replenish. Uh, no, we have only 204, actually. I also don't want them to raise another army, though at the same time, I guess if they raise another army, it gives me the opportunity to capture the, um, <laughs> the Wally. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Finish that army off. Give me the prisoner. Amazing. Amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Allah smiles down upon us. <laughs> Hostage captured. Wally Tefan of Ceuta and three others... Uh, have been captured after winning the battle. Hey, Ease, how's it going, man? How's it going? Um, decided to join in. Uh, hey, Rita, glad you could join in as well. Uh, I'm really enjoying the Pokemon Stellaris playthrough. That's good to hear. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, I love that kind of uh, approach to, to playthroughs and stuff. I thought uh, Let's Playing this would... Or, sorry, uh, I thought Let's Playing this would be a very different sort of experience in live streaming, which is why I went with a live stream approach, uh, because it's so fun to like play like this, I feel. Feed your soldiers blood, corn demands it. Listen, they're going to feed on, on this guy's blood. So, having captured now the person who was in charge of Seota, we can enforce our demands because the war score is at 100. Again, uh, having the leader of the war on the other side is instant success, which is why you really want to be careful sending yourself on the battlefield because uh, if you get captured, it works the other way around where you're screwed. Anyway, let's go ahead and enforce our demands over here. No reason not to. Let's not drag this war on. People are already starting to get upset. Uh, so this will give us 75 fame, which helps with our prestige situation. We'll go from 38. Enforce those demands. To the cold-hearted Al-Kasim. May your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. 
In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Wonderful. So, yeah, we've gained a little bit of, whoops, gained a little bit of fame over there. That'll help us be more distinguished. That'll help us with people's opinions of us, allow us to have access to more knights or Ferris, considering who we're playing as. Um, but yeah, so be it. Beautiful. And we are now the Sheikh of Garb and of Seota as well. Now, these are both our lands. And uh, now, also, we can raise soldiers and get taxes from these lands. However, because it was recently conquered, uh, now, thankfully, we didn't have to go through the whole siege and stuff, because this can end up a lot lower. But because of this shift in control, you can see that the control here is, is low. Now, control represents literally how much, like how well you are controlling a, a part of the world. Uh, in this case, not very well. And that is reducing taxes and levies significantly. Our low marshal is also hurting it, but, but more importantly, that low control. So, we can actually send our marshal who so far has been organizing levies and increasing how many soldiers we have, we can send our marshal in to increase control. It's a pretty time-consuming endeavor. It takes eight years. It'll take him eight years. Yikes. Um, but I think it's a worthwhile thing to do. I do think it's a worthwhile thing to do. So let's get you in there. Um, it's already at 25, so that's a good boost. Let's go ahead and disband our army as well so that we can, you know, stop paying the, uh, the, the fee that comes with that, make a bit more money. All right, uh, off to a good start. Off to a good start. And what's the deal actually back over here? Um, popular opinion. Yeah, that offensive war negativity was only only so much. Cool. All right, let's... Uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at chat. So your territory of choice in CK3 is the same as your Battle Lords play through. Yeah, there's a pattern developing. Eh? I, I almost went with like a Prince of Persia uh, play or a, uh, you know, Bengal Tiger play and even a, a Byzantine Empire play. There were so many options. I was so... I was so paralyzed by choice. So paralyzed by choice. Uh, negotiate an alliance with Sultan. Okay, so now, actually... Wali, Pamin, Fin... Uh, fine. Go back to disrupting schemes. I guess there are no more secrets to find in our uh, in our lands. Oh, God. We're already talking about ease and his age. <laughs> On the topic of older people, let's go and speak to Sultan Yaya, our father, who will probably... Yes, be more willing to negotiate an alliance now. It's basically that. You gotta impress Dad. <laughs> you gotta show Dad. It's like, Dad, listen, look. Hey, look. Dad, look. Look at this crayon drawing I made. Will you put it up on the fridge? And, you know, it was ugly, but now it's nice. So he's willing to, to become our ally. Which gives us access, to a degree, to his 1,600 soldiers. He will undoubtedly accept an alliance with his son, I, I suspect. Take some time for the messenger to reach him. And, my dear son, I'm honored by your request, and I would be glad to call you an ally. Now, important to note, for those of you that don't know, you cannot just be an ally with anybody. This is a different era. Alliances come through marriage or family. <laughs> Ease, I see you. <laughs> Banned. <laughs> uh, so, our first alliance came from our betrothal to Mayasa. Our second alliance came through our familial relations. That's where, uh, that's where, where, relation, well, that's where alliances are, are built. Uh, do the armies look smaller? Do you mean like visually or do you mean in terms of numbers? I am playing... Oh, I see what you're saying. No, so uh, we actually, because our cultures and all don't match, there's a couple of issues uh, with where we... By issues, I mean uh, challenges, not problems with the game. I mean challenges uh, with where we're, where we're playing. If you look at the Umayyad Sultanate, like they have a reasonable number of soldiers. Uh, the Idrisid is just not as significant as, as large as them. If you look at West Francia... They got a decent number of soldiers. So if you're worried about the number of, uh, of, of, of soldiers, then that, hopefully that addresses that a little bit. Now, we're actually able to, because uh, Tamasna over here is of the Najdat faith, which honestly I didn't even know existed until very recently, by which I mean playing this, uh, we can also declare war on him. Again, we can go for the good old-fashioned conquest, costing us well, the remainder of our prestige, or we can push for a... Put that to the side a little bit. <laughs> or we can push for a holy war instead, which will cost us our piety. Again, we're working on improving that. Uh, I think we can... Gee, I mean, actually, we could go for that holy war. He's got 623 soldiers. It'll only be the county. I do not have enough prestige to to, to take that entire duchy at the same time. Um, so that, uh, that's, that, that's our option there. Either we go a county at a time, or we just wait 
for 100 and then get the whole duchy. But it literally costs twice as much for twice as much territory. Uh, now let's actually take a look at this event over here. Christopher is such a pain. Whenever he gets the chance, he does his best to convince the other children that I am horrid per that I'm a horrid person. He lies and spins tales, and only I know it is not the truth. He won't leave me alone. I do not know what to do. He is the worst. Man, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown before I reach adulthood, which really is really in keeping with 2020. Is, is that my webcam bottom left? Uh, yes, Tony, that's a very accurate representation. Uh, bigger beard, though. Bigger beard. <laughs> uh, I am playing in 868. Yeah, that's right. We are playing with the earliest start date. Oh, man, I can't wait for the modding as well. Uh, I, I think I will... <laughs> more on Tasmania. God damn it, Esteban, you got me there. Uh, will you one day do a Stellaris playthrough? I might, I might wait. Calls of wait. Chat as my extended counsel. Does war begin now or do we wait? Does war begin now or do we wait? Uh, if you want a question answered that badly, make a super chat. Um, which which one is the question? Damn, I should have should have not answered. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Super chats are super appreciated, of course. Uh, but I'm glad to see so many of y'all joining us. I, I do want to mention as well, if you're enjoying and you'd like to see more CK3, again, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but hit the like button if you're watching as the VOD as well, because this will go up on YouTube for viewing afterwards. Uh, hit the like button. Leave a comment. It lets me know people want to see more of this action on the channel. Uh, so, what would be the benefit of, of attacking early, if you will? The tax rates over here, 1.81. It's a lot of money. These guys are suffering from reduced control. So, I mean, we'd obviously, if we were to take Tamasna, we'd suffer from reduced control as well. But once we, um, once we took it, once we took it, we'd be making a fair bit of money off of it. Wait, consolidate, higher forces. Wait, wait, war, war, wait, war. Love this. Nubiwan Kenubi, how's it going, man? Good day indeed. How's yours? Having a wonderful one, I hope. Pirate of 140k. We're close, man. We're close. I didn't think we'd... I did not foresee these numbers this year. Uh, wait, Corn has had his fill for now. Has he ever had his fill? Murder your bully? We can. We can't do... Oh, actually. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. He's a kid. I don't think we can organize his... Uh, his murder quite yet, though. Not quite yet. <laughs> you are a child, the game yells at you. <laughs> it's just like, nah, buddy. W once we hit adulthood, which is very soon, eight years, we'll, uh, we'll take care of him. Uh, please the Sultan dad to war. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of uh, back and forth here. Good chance someone else will attack him. That is true. If we wait too long, someone else might strike first. Let's wait until we have 50 gold let's allow some of our reinforcements to join up um reinforcements i mean our you know our, our army to to get larger and then we'll dive into the war because i think actually 493 plus a levy of i mean the cheapest one are the light footmen they do not get any bonuses in uh light horsemen get a nice hefty bonus in dry lands which is what this terrain is um, but they're they're very expensive. I don't think I have that kind of patience. I'll be I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, Agradeep Kanra, thank you very much for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying the show, buddy. And again, yeah, if you're if you're looking for a channel that'll have lots of Crusader Kings three action, then you found one. I am very passionate about these games and this game as well. So there will be lots of Crusader Kings on this channel. I can assure you of that. Um, but yeah, so I, I think that's what we'll do. We'll wait until we have fifty gold. We'll let our reinforcements grow, and then we'll declare that war. The only thing that'll trigger us into a war earlier is if um, somebody else declares war on them. Because what can happen is, uh, agreed, Darren, Mick, 435 viewers, 430 now, and only 245 likes. Smash that like button. Totally. 249 now. Great. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. Um, Caleb K, thank you for subscribing as well. Hope you're enjoying the show. Consume the bully to gain his strength. I don't know if you're joking, but... Cannibalism is a thing in the game. <laughs> Cannibalism is absolutely a thing in the game. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and speed time up a little bit. Get those reinforcements. Get that 50 gold. If somebody else declares war first, even if it's our father. Ooh, we have to beat our father to that. Because the thing is, see, if our if our dad gets territory for himself, then uh, then he has control over it, not us. And as much as we are his heir, we also want immediate gains too, right? We also want immediate gains. Games? Gains. How safe is Seuta? Ah, that's a good question. That is a good question. Not very. Not very. 
um, GM, thank you for subscribing. Again, I hope you're enjoying the show as well. So the thing with Seyuta is that just like we have the option of declaring religious wars, holy wars on others, uh, or conquest wars on others, the entire, I believe it's the entire Umayyad Sultanate, what happened here? Oh my god! Did... Did, Ab did Abdul Rahman di die? Oh damn! This is actually really good. This is actually really good. Um, Andreas... Augustson. I hope I got that correct. Let me know if not. Thank you for subscribing. Again, hope you're enjoying. Um, so what I was going to say is that the entire Umayyad Caliphate, or sorry, Umayyad Sultanate, uh, is able to declare war on us similarly. Uh, but since they've broken down, oh, we can actually make our moves and go up and, and capture Malaga or Almeida, Seville as well. I mean, if I... Okay. <laughs> Hold on. This <laughs> is... We would be, yeah, these guys have broken apart. That's amazing. Now, we, we should start local. Because if we get too far up, we, we might be surrounded by, 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 you know, everybody. Are they with the Umayyad Sultanate? They've got a lot of allies, I imagine. No. And they're already in a holy war against Navarra. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's, that's too big. That's too big. That's got to be too big. That's got to be too big. As a cannibal, Moroccans are my favorite. They're very Moorish. Oh my god, second rook. <laughs> yeah, the entire Umayyad Sultanate is not entire. Got Oh, whoa, almost got myself demonetized there. I don't know. Oh man, this is an unexpected turn of events. And this is why I love this game. Man, like honestly, my, my plan was to first work in North Africa and then move up into, into Iberia and then Southern Europe. But this we could... Okay, maybe... All right, here. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. We uh, captured, or capture, we, we conquered Tamasna, right? We work with control over here. And then... And then we move north? Because this is in danger of being conquered by literally any of the others down over here. But up north over here, there's a truce active right now. So we we have time. We have time up north. All right, cool. Yeah, we, we stick to our original plan of moving south. But this is interesting. So Ceuta is a bit safer than I'd originally thought when I was answering. Uh, but but it's, uh, it's not as unsafe as initially anticipated. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. All right. Um, the only problem is if these guys start forming alliances, we might, have, uh, we might have some issues there where they grow in strength. But we, of course, have our father joining us as well, right? Uh, Z uh, Zakaria, I hope I didn't butcher that. Uh, I so I, I lived in Morocco for three years, which is why where my like attachment comes from. Um, so I, I I'm, I'm glad to, I'm glad people are enjoying that. I had to represent. Um, but uh, but yeah. So anyway, um, let's uh, let's yeah let's 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 go ahead and raise. Oh man, do I have that much patience? Sure. Let's give them until eight sixty nine. We'll pick a nice year to uh to attack. Focus on the south first. Eat them before they consolidate Iberia. Man, polar opposite opinions. Um, uh, Random Victorious, yes, you missed an announcement. I tweeted it out. I also posted under the community tab on the channel. That's how I try to get the news out. But this weekend was basically a blackout on all other content. Bannerlord, um, you know, Total War, Planet Zoo, everything because I was focused on, on this. Um, there's a lot of content for this coming out later this week, over the course of this week, and then this live stream as well. I was getting prepared, you know, learning the game, making sure I understood everything. Uh, as deeply as possible with a paradox game. <laughs> There's always a surprise waiting. All right, 273. Uh, we can get up to 488, but do we need to? Over here, they have 226. Sorry, the garrison is 250. So we can outnumber them, no problem. Their entire army is 577. Ugh, I suppose I should wait. I suppose I should wait. We get plus six a month. It's because Buddy over here is helping with control. I could pull him off of that. Let's go ahead and pull him off of that, actually. And get him... I love that you can flip things on and off in a in a snap. You don't have to... Uh, there's not like, oh, he's locked in. You can't do this for another 20 years. I like that. Uh, also, sorry, really quickly over here. I just want to say, Darren Mick, 
thank you very much for that donation. I appreciate it so very much. That kind of stuff really helps uh, live streams kind of stay alive and keep them running. So thank you very much for that. Money for the war. Can we get an F for the Umayyad? Indeed, Fs, Fs for the Umayyad, I suppose, even though we were going to do that to them anyway, I suppose. <laughs> um, right, so let's go ahead and get our marshal back to organizing levies. Is that will... That's fine, organize levies. Uh, that'll increase the reinforcement rate a little bit, which I think will allow us to get to that war a little bit quicker as well. Can one ever totally understand a paradox game? No, that's, that's the paradox paradox, isn't it? <laughs> there are very crisp mechanics... But every time you learn a mechanic, three new mechanics spawn. It's like the coastline paradox, where like every coastline is infinitely long. Because, you know, from a distance, a coastline is so long. But as you move closer and closer, with every like, you know, dip in, in, in the land and whatnot, the coastline gets, you know, that many meters longer. So every coastline is technically infinitely long. Uh, a very poor representation of the, the coastline paradox, I think. I don't know if I worded that perfectly. Uh, so that's the, that's the paradox paradox. Every mechanic looks finite, and then you look at the mechanic, and you realize that there's 10 other mechanics that go into that mechanic, so you look at one of those, and that has 10 other mechanics. Oh, I love, I do love that depth. That's, uh, that's the kind of depth I like in my strategy games. Um, oh yeah, where, uh, whereabouts ease? Like, uh, where, where in the country? Like, I lived in, ooh, so this is a problem. We'll look at that. Uh, I lived in Rabat, uh, for, for the three years, but I visited around a little bit, um, with, like, family and stuff, doing trips. Um... Factions, right. So, these guys, the peasant rabble of Ceuta, are upset at us. Which is, what's their, what's their problem? County control. They don't like that I've increased control so much. Um, so, they're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> In 50 months, they can send us an ultimatum because of how strong they are, because of their own strength versus my strength. So I just need to make sure that that doesn't get too bad. Um, and hopefully before they're able to kick off a rebellion we are able to go big, grow big enough that we can have some vassals of matching uh, of matching culture and faith, and that way they won't be very upset or anything like that. Um, yeah, that, that's uh, that's probably what uh, what I'm gonna hope for over here. But that, that is that is a little worrying. Agadir, ah yes, Agadir is beautiful. The the tourist location, absolutely. Uh, Hosema Al Hosema, yes, actually, that's funny. You should mention. Uh, when I was living in Morocco, uh, Al Hasema, I believe, was struck by an earthquake, and I was very involved in the um, in the uh, in some of the relief effort and stuff, working with I think it was UNESCO. This is years ago, but it's funny. Of all the places in all Morocco, you could talk about you you, you talk about Al Hasema. Yes, I have a, a personal connection with Al Hasema. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's funny. Um, also, I find so Salah, unless they renamed the city. Uh, Sala is the city of Saleh, which is uh, extra funny if you know that in Hindi, Saleh means something that, well, I might get demonetized for explaining it. Uh, so that, that was also extra funny for me. Now, I'm seeing suggestions to recruit uh, Bowman. 75, I mean, we're almost there. They counter skirmishers, which, I mean, I wish I could see. When they raise their armies, we can see what they're, uh, what they're packing. And we can counter that accordingly. They're likely going to be packing uh, oh, Marrakesh, of course. Can't can't go to Morocco and not hit up Marrakesh, right? Oh, hey, cool. You're from Al Hasema. Awesome. Paradox games should come with a calculator and Excel sheet, honestly, right? Like a custom uh, set of macros for, for uh, Google Sheets or Excel or whatever. Um, damn, what was I going to look at? Oh, I lost my train of thought. Got so excited talking about Morocco. Going to move in. Oh, right, 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 right. So... They are likely to have light footmen. Um, so if we go in with bowmen, then uh, we counter them, reduce their efficiency significantly. And it's the same. It's not like we're going to have any terrain bonuses with anybody outside of light horsemen. So that's not a bad call uh, to, to recruit bowmen instead. Or we could be even more patient and get some light horsemen. Camel riders are also fantastic. Yes, in desert, drylands, plains, and floodplains. Also a little bit expensive. They counter archers, um, but hasn't yet triggered an event with his decent stewardship. You can get the uh, side effects to trigger that will give you like a nice windfall of money. I went camel riding once. You went camel riding in India? Oh, nice. I went camel riding in uh, in the desert. Uh, we had a, 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 a middle school field trip to the desert with a Berber camping group. And so we went, <laughs> we did camel riding with Berbers. 
Whenever I see my bully Christopher, he has come up with some new way of tormenting me. He tipped over a... Oh god, I don't know how to say this. Candelabrum? Candelabrum? It tipped over a candle holder <laughs> and put the blame on me. He scares me, but what can I do? All right, this is an important uh, decision here. At least I'm getting very, very good at hiding. will make us craven, which we are not. Uh, I want to stay in my room all day anyway. will make us lazy. Was I right the first time? Who was, what was... What did I miss there? I missed something there. Um, I, I missed something. Oh, there was a stutter. I, I, I apologize. It must be just YouTube things. Um... Okay, I gotta, I gotta figure this out here. So, from a mathematical perspective, which again, I don't really, I don't, I don't do the math things, um, but Craven hurts our martial and hurts our prowess, which is our capability in like one-to-one -one combat. I feel like that is sort of anathema, anathema. That's the the polar opposite, the antithesis. There we go of of who we are. Laziness is. Of the three, the least contradictory. Because I, I suppose it hurts everything a little bit. Man, this is a rough. Oh, can candelabrum, can can candle holder. I'll stick with candle holder. <laughs> um. Oh damn. Um, lazy hurts everything, but it also gives us some stress lost. We can you can have a mental breakdown. Um, in, in this game, <laughs> it's a thing. It is a thing. Uh, now, I could maybe get him hanged for it, which helps our intrigue, but that sinful to Zaidis is really bad. It will drop our piety to nothing. We have to live our entire life with that sinful trait. And the, the drop in opinion is huge, because again, like I said earlier, our levies and our taxes that we get from our vassals is entirely opinion-based. Uh, I, I do think lazy is the way to go, and the way I the way I justify that is that we had the option to go up against the uh, Umayyad Sultanate <laughs> early on, and we decided to to wait. We had we we could have just d dove into this war down over here. We decided to wait. So maybe maybe this isn't precaution. Maybe this is laziness. So let's go with that. I want to stay in my room all day anyway. Gain the trait lazy man. That is a that is a bad <laughs> that is a bad roll. That's a bad luck. Oh. Our, uh, our, our liege, has it, has it always been Emir Ali? Father, you would put me under the control of my cousin? Come on. Thought we had a thing. Ooh. <laughs> on the topic of our cousin, he declared war on Wali Maimun of Ziz. Okay. Okay, fair enough. You, you stick to your thing. I'll stick to mine. Again, the entire, um, the entire... In of the Idrisid Sultanate, hell yeah. Asking seriously, since other territories have different religions. Oh, let me take a look at this. Is being sinful that bad? Uh, uh, so, yes and no, I guess. The faith of the territory doesn't consider my personal sins or virtues. It only considers my faith as a whole. Where sins and virtues become a problem is with the... Um, council, uh, the realm, all that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, most Muslim faiths will see um, arbitrary as a sin anyway. Arbitrary, arbitrary, there's all, yeah. I think all Muslim faiths see arbitrary as a sin. So it wouldn't, at that point as well, I totally see what you're going at, going for, and, and you're absolutely right. Uh, but what that means is if we want to have Muslim vassals, uh, which we will, Arbitrary would be a problem with all of them. So, uh, the, hence that, that, that sin being a particular problem. Uh, so yeah, it's the 30th of December. I said I would declare war on a nice date. Don't want to don't wanna wait any longer. Let's go ahead and get those bowmen we were talking about. Is there something you miss already from CK2? Um, I mean, Crusader Kings 2 has like a lot of the weird fantasy stuff, which is goofy fun. Um, but like, I like my straight up history as well. So not, not yet, I guess. I have to think about that. I have to think about that. But like playing a chess game with death, you know, is a thing. It's fun. But do I need that in, in my Crusader Kings game right at the beginning? I don't know. Uh, I believe we're getting the, the leader designer 
soon, right? So it's it, it's, a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to answer. I'll be honest. I, I'm having fun. Is is what I can say. I'll have to think about that one though. To be to be perfectly honest, I'm not trying to be like sketchy. Uh, I, I have to think about that one. It's too big a game. It's too big a game series and game and two games to really compare them uh, that quickly. I would say. Um, but if you look at my hour count on Steam, I think that I think that tells a story, right? On uh, on Crusader Kings three. Yeah, let's go ahead and make some bowmen. They'll help us defeat any light footmen. We'll wait a little bit longer. Get some camel riders later. Uh, create the Bowman Regiment. Now, they take some time to replenish as well, and that's okay. We'll raise the rest of our army, and we'll... we'll oh, sorry. My bad. Oh, man. I gotta declare... You can't, you can't declare a war when you have the army raised. You have to declare the war first. Let's go ahead and declare the war. 670. So, they are numerous, but we are hopefully more skillful. Uh, yes, Ease, the Discord is a very friendly place. If you are new to this channel, and you are not in our Discord, the link is in the chat, thanks to Ease. It is also in the description down below if you are watching the VOD. Vastly inferior. Yeah, their quality must be very poor, I suppose. Let's go ahead and conquer the county. Again, not enough. Not enough. I get... Hmm. So do we want to go with oh, the Holy War, I suppose? Yeah, I guess we'd go with the, the Holy War instead. Sure. Holy War for the county. Now, we can go for either of these counties, but let's not go for... Uh, for border gore, let's let's stay, you know, in one place. Uh, Saptarshi Chanda, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Thank you very much for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying. Uh, Holy War for County. Yes, let's go ahead and declare it. I don't know why I'm so hesitant. I guess I'm just worried that other, you know, their other buddies might might join. 150. That basically ruins all of our, like, gets rid of all of our prestige, which we might need for other things. Sure, let's stick with the Holy War over here. The Kafir shall be murdered. Death to the... Yep. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> that music, man. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Alright. Raise all of our forces here. Now, are they better than us. Uh, our commander is better. They do have, we were right, they have uh, skirmishers. Let's go ahead and pull back a little bit. Allow our, uh, allow our men at arms to, uh, to be capped up as well. They're growing at a decent rate. I believe it's a balanced fight right now, so we'll keep our distance for now. Keep our distance for now. We'll dive in. Yeah, the music is so epic. That's why I went quiet for a, for a second there. <laughs> it felt like we all needed to embrace and enjoy that music for a moment. Yeah, keep going, keep going. The music is intense. I love it. How's the audio, by the way? Is the volumes okay and everything? I mean, I should have asked that a lot sooner, I suppose, but <laughs> hopefully it's all good. All right, we're still still needing to gain some more soldiers over here. I'm not a fan of, of balance. I'm not a fan of, of chances being even. I hope that pause over there isn't going to get us murdered over here. Let's keep moving. Worst case scenario, we can call our allies. Come on now. Come on now, our Ferris has been wounded. Oh no, our Ferris has done the wounding. Ah, we're gonna lose this battle. Alright. Time to call in Dad. He will accept the Holy War for the Walaya of Tamasna. Let's do it. Excellent. This is unfortunate. This is unfortunate, but... Not the end of the world. One must suffer defeats to enjoy the taste of victories. Right? We're going to put uh, Seota under siege. I mean, they have a fairly large army. But again, our father has joined with his massive force of 1,700 soldiers. This ain't going to be a problem. <laughs> this ain't going to be a problem. 83 minutes and then asking about quality. It's because I've, I, I, like, I know a little bit of audio engineering, so I know my numbers are correct. But um, then I, I realize now that, right, sometimes it gets really loud. As I look upon a young launderer walking by, sweaty with labor, but a blush on her cheeks, I'm entranced. What is this feeling? This longing? <laughs> Girls are so fascinating. I love this tooltip, by the way. I think it's the most hilariously worded tooltip. You realize you are heterosexual. <laughs> it's just like the way it's worded is so funny. Um, <laughs> young launderer walking by, sweaty with labor. <laughs> Girls are so fascinating. Ah, yes. Becoming a, becoming a man soon. How old are we? We're 10. 
Sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds about right. All right, Ciuta will be put under siege. It's a little unfortunate. It will hurt control, uh, but it might. Um, starts war, fails miserably, calls dad. Hey, man. That's what family's for. Yeah, you can see. Pops is moving in. I'm going to take uh, Tamasna here. We are reinforcing still. Re reinforcing quickly enough. We'll, we'll, we'll join dad in, in, in this war. <laughs> you got the straight... Yeah, I like I like the way it's worded. You realize it's just like you realize that. I, I think it's it's perfectly fine. I just think it's funny. Um, yet again, Wally Pamin is late for a council meeting. This time I will not let it pass. When I arrive at Pamin's chambers, I do not give him the courtesy of knocking. Wally Pamin is seated by his desk, writing furiously. As I clear my throat, he jumps out of his skin. He quickly stuffs a roll of parchment into his pocket and turns towards me with an uneasy look upon his face. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, smash smash the like button for the sweaty laundry ladies. <laughs> uh, join the siege for prestige, absolutely. Um, uh, yeah, good plan, probably a little too late for that. I was hoping to replenish a bit more first, but yeah, I should probably just stick to this army. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll get it on, on the battle, though this will end the war. All right, what do we do with our clearly scheming spy master of all people? God damn. What are you hiding? Show me at once. I will find out what he is hiding. Good or respect his privacy, in which case he'll like me more. Now, something to think about. Uh, the first thing, though, is to say... Where's my... There we go. Mike Angelo. I have to scroll down on chat a little bit. Mike Angelo, thank you very much for subscribing. Again, I, I do hope you're enjoying the show. And for anybody who's watching and is new, lots of CK3 to come on this channel, so do not hesitate to subscribe if you are looking for a channel that you know, loves this kind of thing and intends to cover it. This is a problem. It's not the end of the world, though. This man is in charge of the Walaya of Al-Basra. Now, that is a republic. As we discussed earlier, with, uh, sorry, realm, 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 there we go. With republic-style vassals, their opinion doesn't impact the contribution to taxes or levy. So... His opinion, oh god, it's tough because he's our spy master. He he can kill us if he wants to. If he hates us enough, he totally can do that. Ah, uh, Varys, you cannot be trusted. It's so true, ain't it? Uh, no, we'll we'll take the little hit to, to opinion. I need to know what's going on in my own court. I need to know what's going on in my own court. What are you hiding? Show me at once. Did you really think I would not see that? Give it to me at once. With a shivering hand, Pamin offers me the crumpled parchment. Well, well, well. How delightfully wicked. According to this blackmail letter, Pamin is a non-believer. Damn. Yeah, it is a good way to get assassinated, but we can always, you know, swap him out, imprison him, find out a secret like this, which um, is really quite helpful because it is written proof that he's a non-believer. Now, that allows us to do a couple things. Um, if we look at the hooks and secrets area, we know... He's a non-believer. We can blackmail him for a hook. That hook will allow us to do countless things to him, such as, uh, for example, not, not going to, but we can imprison him using a hook to make it a 100% chance of success. Uh, we can we can imprison him and then execute him for his heresy. Absolutely. Heresy and sinner. Remove this filth, says Second Rook. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm thinking about it. I'm honestly thinking about it. If I expose his secret, now I can't remember... If being a non-believer is illegal. Uh, I can't remember if being a non-believer is justification for... For... Uh, throwing someone in prison. I think it might be, actually. Painting minis. Oh. More more painting going. Oh, snap. Traitor. Remove this filth. Absolutely haram. Yeah, absolutely. Off with his head. Torture him. Um, infidel. I mean, I'm, the, the, the calls for violence are clear and not inappropriate at all. On, 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 on the topic of the calls of violence, thank you for answering the call to subscribers. Patrick F., uh, thank you for subscribing. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's expose his secret. And I think, I can't remember for the life of me right now, 
Uh, it's that stage fright, <laughs> throwing off my memory. But I'm pretty sure as a non-believer, we can throw him into prison. So let's go ahead and expose his secret. Um, the, the, the problem is, do we have a better spy master to replace him? Yes, him me. Him me is a good enough spy master potential. So we'll do that. Wally. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm saying Wally, like the, like the Pixar movie. So I hope to God I've got this right in my head. Let's expose your secret. That he is a non-believer. I cannot, I cannot imprison him without it being an act of tyranny. Should have known, should have known, should have known. Should have known. I can still imprison him. People will be upset at me because it is an act of tyranny. Uh, but this will make him less liked by, uh, by others as well. All good. It's not, again, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We will still swap him out though. I don't need him in charge of my, uh... <laughs> of my spies and everything. No wonder he was having a hard time finding secrets. Oh my god! That's why he was having a hard time finding secrets! Because he had one of his own! Yo! <laughs> Alright, him me. Let's get you in there. So Pamin will again lose some uh, some interest. He, he'll be very upset at us, actually. He'll be quite upset at us. This 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 is an unfortunate turn of events for our uh, for our situation, but we'll be... We'll be fine. We'll be fine having someone with such high intrigue um, in our realm uh, be upset at us. We'll be fine. Just want to make sure him me. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Again, he's only a little bit worse. You you continue to find secrets over here. Surely there are more to find. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have blackmailed for a hook instead. And that probably would have been the better call in hindsight. I just couldn't remember if, uh, if being an unbeliever or being a non-believer was justification for... Uh, for imprisonment. That would have been ideal. That would have been uh, ideal. Yeah. I, oh, no, no, I, I totally. I, I, I know how the uh, the hooks work and all, but uh, I was hoping to just imprison him using... Uh, so, if you imprison somebody without proper justification, it's an act of tyranny, and people lose their opinion of you, which, again, is important to us, remember. But if I have a justified reason for arresting him, Again, which I thought him being an unbeliever was, uh, then we wouldn't incur tyranny, and uh, and, and we'd be fine. Tyranny is a strong word. I prefer calling it bold administration. <laughs> uh, Sakyat, are you asking my age, or do you mean my character's age? Um, my vassal, Wally Kentella, is getting on my nerves. He takes every opportunity to needle me, seemingly taking joy in the irritation and pain he causes. Either I will teach him a lesson, or the next time we meet. I will be nice. Uh, I'd love to teach him a lesson, but he is a vassal of mine. He is a vassal of mine, and so we must work well together. So fine. The next time we meet, I will be nice. I gain a little bit of stress, but it's not the end of the world. We're, we're not very close to having a breakdown or anything, so fine. Hopefully being nice to him will make him nice to me. Uh, this war is done. Oh no, that's the Walaya of Z's. Oh, the lost battle is hurting us. We should still be able to. Nah, we gotta get to 100% here, eh? Fair enough, fair enough. Let's move up. Move up with our father. In game age, we are 10 still. In game, we are 10. So, close enough to being an adult. Thankfully, you know, if I, if I unpause, maybe. <laughs> yeah, if it's a hostile religion, not just any different faith, yeah. Siege lost up over here. Not a big deal. Get that land back. Dad. Dad, where are you going? Come with me. Your liege won their war with Wali Mamun. Excellent. The Idrisid Sultanate continues to grow. Battle here has begun. Our father will join us. This should not be an issue at all. The total map. Yep. Let me just win this battle and hop on into Subta. And then we can uh, take a look at the whole map here. And the Umayyad. That was an interesting turn of events. It looks like the uh, Marwanid... Emirate is having some trouble with the Asturias. What do we got going on over here? The Byzantines looking pretty solid. West. This is all. Everything's pretty um, stagnant over here. These guys haven't uh, haven't pushed into uh, to England yet or anything. Interesting. That's the uh, that's the overall map for you. Let's let's get back in here and make sure we win our dad. Dad, no, I need you here for the siege. Dad. Dad. <laughs> I think he's going down over here. Fine, we'll join him. There are many ways to win uh, to win a war. It's fine. 
Espionage. Ooh, there's a bastard. While performing his duties as my spy master, Himmi has uncovered a secret held by my courtier, Lala. Hold on a second. She is, in fact, the bastard child of her mother, Lala and Zephyr. Oh, interesting. Unbelievable. Again, that's a secret that we can use as a... Uh, as a... Uh, what's the word? As a hook or whatever it might be. Uh, all, all, almost all of them accept others at some points and are brutal at others. Religion in the Middle Ages is nutty. I mean, religion in this game is nutty. There's so much to it. Uh, there's multiple faiths in any religion. And every religion is a part of a religious family. And the way religions, or the way faiths think of each other is determined entirely by which religion they're in and which religious family they're in. Religions can consider each other hostile or they can consider each other straight up evil. Uh, yes. Shake and bake. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Shake and bake. Yes, absolutely. This is, it is insanely deep. I was not joking about the paradox paradox where you look at one mechanic and the deeper you look, the more mechanics there seem to be. Uh, and that's exactly why I've got my kind of beginner's guide. Uh, basically what I'm doing with my beginner's guide is I'm trying to cover things at first to a level of depth so that everyone understands what's going on and then taking deeper dives into specifics as I get 100% familiar with those specifics. So for example, because um, again, there's so much to learn. I'm not going to pretend to be a super expert with just, you know, X amount of hours played. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to ease people in uh, with the basics and then more and more and more as we go on. So there will be a full-on beginner's guide on this channel uh, to hopefully help people enjoy the game as much as I do. To enjoy the game as much as I do. Despite our best efforts, there are no secrets. No, no, no. Keep it up. Unless you have your own secret as well, man. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Don't turn out to be a problem. Faction created against Emir Ali. Fair enough. Emir Ali. Not so fabulous. He. Ali. Uh, Taz. Uh, that's enough of my singing. Let's go ahead and enforce our demands here. This war has gone on for far enough. For long enough. Not quite far enough. I'd like to have gained more territory. Berber decreases. Oh, yeah. Because it was a holy war. We share 100 prestige based on contribution. I gained some devotion, again, because it was a holy war. Beautiful. 18 months ago it was begun. Let's do it. To the cold-hearted al Qasim, may your years be short and miserable. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Excellent. So be it. There we go. Another, uh, another little bit of territory gained over here. Let's go ahead and disband our army as well. And Mr. Energize, thank you very much for subscribing. I do hope you are enjoying today's session thus far. Cannot disband while enemy or hostile armies are around. Oh, right, these guys. A peasant uprising going on over here. I suppose we can assist. Father helped us. We'll help father. Um, fuck, father, yes. Yes, father, we'll come to your aid. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Mr. Energize, thank you for subscribing, as I was saying. I do hope you are enjoying the show. And folks, if you are enjoying, don't hesitate to let me know by liking the live stream or video if you're watching it as a VOD afterwards as well. Damn, control here has dropped. Okay, we can now disband the army. Go ahead and save that money. Making a decent bit of money actually now. Though we are at our domain limit, so we have to be careful as we continue to grow. Uh, we want to make sure we grow in a way that we gain access to a... Uh, to the next tier up somewhere because basically if you have more holdings which is a county if you have more counties than your domain limit people get upset at you you gain less taxes you make less money so to avoid that you give uh, holdings to your other people your friends or family or whatever and they become they then have that in their domain but the thing is because we are at the lowest level of that kind of rank ladder we're, we're county rank um, and if we give anybody another county, they become independent and separate from us. But if we're a duke rank, in the case of this part of the world, an emir, then they stay as our vassal, just like we are uh, our, our cousin's vassal, uh, and, and we still have control over the land. So I, I, I have to get to that next stage pretty quickly. Was my domain limit four before? Was it? Hmm, I wonder if I... I didn't take a hit to stewardship. Hmm. Well, oh, right, that's why. I did take a hit to stewardship. Because laziness is dropping our uh, our stewardship. And domain is determined by uh, by stewardship. You get a bonus to your domain limit 
if you have high stewardship. Now again, when we hit adulthood, which will be soon, in about five years, uh, hopefully we will, uh, we'll, we'll see these numbers go up. Will all episodes be streams? I think so, the YouTube Sarko. I feel like it's, it's a lot of fun. Like, it's one thing for me to get a get an event and me to be like, oh no, our spy master might be trying to kill us. Like, that's fun as well for me, but I feel like it's a special kind of fun when it's with a live stream. Uh, and I think it's, uh, uh, I think it's an extra, it's a special kind of fun. And so I'm kind of leaning towards that. My territory looks like two different sized sausages. Hey man, you can't go wrong with sausages. Probably like chicken sausages or turkey sausages. No pork sausages here, but you know, eh, you can't go wrong. What a land garb. Hey man, our culture. It's in our culture. I'm a grabby all your land. God, m m m grabby. M m oh God, God. Courtly inspiration. I'm incredibly impressed by one of the household Ferris. I was finally introduced to him face to face, and I am no less impressed now. I will remember his words for the rest of my life. What were his words? Okay, give. Okay, which words would I remember? Uh, which <laughs> which words would I remember? Give others their due, and you will receive your own in turn. Or, greatness comes in time. Be there to grasp it when it does. You only get one shot. Capture it. Don't let it slip. Right. So being patient increases our learning, which is pretty poor for us. And learning is a good thing to have for many reasons. Learning helps with piety. And if we're going to be going on holy wars, uh, Jas Singh, Planet Zoo will be releasing uh, tomorrow. We'll be back to our regular schedule. Uh, this weekend has been kind of preoccupied, let's call it. Alex, I'm, I'm super glad you caught the stream as well. Uh, there'll be many more of those, especially with Crusader Kings now, as I'm getting used to a weekday schedule for streaming. Uh, because that previously I thought wouldn't do so well, but there's over 400 of y'all watching, so <laughs> that's a lesson for me. Uh, all right, so now if I if I if I'm generous, I lose money. I, I make less money, rather. My diplomacy goes up. Now diplomacy is very good for relations. People like you more if uh, if if uh, if your diplomacy is higher. There's a natural inclination to like you. Now, being virtuous to Zaidi's... Oh, man. Piety plus one. That's a whole plus one. Versus adding a plus two to my learning, which is pretty poor. Uh, not so much two hands. I can't, I, I, I can't technically do, like, a review right now. But I think... Honestly, I feel like the way I'm playing this game and the way I'm just talking about it speaks for itself I informally. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and that's also true. Yes, it is It is the day before launch, but, you know, it's like work hours and things like that. Uh, anyway, so give others their due. Will give us generous. Plus one piety a month is no small matter. It will hurt our monthly income, but our money's looking all right right now already. It will help our diplomacy as well. And though our vassals might not have the same... Um, same faith as us, that increase in diplomacy will improve relations. Um, so I'm thinking generous because of the piety. Yeah, patience will help our learning, which will in turn help our piety. The other thing learning helps is when we become the head of the Maghrebi culture, which right now is Sultan Muhammad II from here, yeah, 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 of, of the Aglabid Sultanate. Uh, if we become the person with the most Maghrebi counties, then we uh, we become the county other uh, the culture head. But you know what? I don't think that's going to happen. Fine, learning doesn't matter as much to us right now. We'll go ahead. And beyond that, I think generosity makes sense as well. If we are if we're going on holy wars, it makes sense for us to do things that are virtuous to the Zaidis, right? So give others their due, and you will receive your own in turn. Gain the trait generous, and that will help our piety a lot, and that will allow us to again go on wars, go on holy wars more readily, and, and things like that. Be generous, be generous. Just joined. What did I miss? Uh, well, let's see. What did... <laughs> the entire introduction. Uh, the entire introduction. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Also happy. I'm out walking with him, me, when I hear it. It is a tiny sound. Frail and scared. I look all over. Under every stone, around every corner, behind every bush, and finally I find it. A small puppy, all alone, sits between two stones. Folks, you got a dog. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, it's my puppy. Uh, I mean, I can give it to Idris and he'll become my friend. Uh, I can... I can do nothing about it. It's my puppy. It's my puppy. Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah. And now... This music's great too. This is my jam right now. This is my jam right now. Um, Alright, we need a name. We need a name! As I pet the dog on the head, she happily wags her tail. What name would suit her? Something historical? Something alluding to her brown fur? It is an important decision, and as the dog rolls over to let me pet her stomach, I find myself distracted for a while. But wait, I know! I will name her... Party Pup? Doggo? <laughs> What's the point of a puppy? Okay, so... Uh... <laughs> The way a game like Crusader Kings works... Yeah, that's fine. That's actually... Ikram, you're technically right, right? Um, chat, drop your name suggestions now. Go! And I'll, I'll, I'll scroll through and we'll pick, a, we'll pick a puppy. And let me actually explain the significance of this to those of you who, who don't understand Crusader Kings. And for those of you who know Crusader Kings as well, I, I don't remember a dog being in Crusader Kings 2 at all. Maybe I'm forgetting, but... Alright, so I got a pet dog. What can I do with a pet dog? So I can pet the pet dog. And if I pet the pet dog, it's an action I can take every once in a while. It reduces my stress level, which, you know, helps me calm down and avoid a mental breakdown or, or gaining, you know, problematic traits and things like that. Very useful. Very useful. But <laughs> this is Crusader Kings, and things aren't just one-to-one. -one. This dog can accompany me to a council meeting. And at that council meeting, one of my counselors might oppose an idea that I'm proposing. And depending on the dog, depending entirely on the dog, the dog might growl at that counselor. And the counselor will go, Oh, actually, you know, you know what? You're right. And then you gain some prestige, which I seem to have very little of right now. <laughs> you gain some prestige. Um, if you... If you uh, oh, you, you can be out for, for a horse ride, and your dog might escape. And then you get branching paths. You get a whole storyline. Do you go chasing after the dog? Do you expect the dog will come back? What do you do? Uh, you can... Oh, there's so much. Um, you, uh, the, the dog might attack one of your vassals. You know, because it's a dog. How do you, what do you do about that? Do you punish the dog? Do you say, come on, man, it's just a dog, and, and upset your vassal? Like, there are... There, like, it's not just a dog. It is an entire thread of gameplay, <laughs> right? It's an entire thread of things that can gain you traits, that can gain you stats. That it just, there's, it's just, man. <laughs> and on top of that, it's a dog. I love dogs. I, I love dogs. Um, all right, I'm getting a lot of name suggestions here. Jeez. I've got a lot of doggos, which I'm not going to... Oh, actually, it's the same person saying doggo three times. Hey, now. Nice try there. Aladdin, come on. <laughs> we got doggo, Aladdin, Korn, uh, Naruto... <laughs> Oh, we do have a couple of doggos. Party Pup, Moon, Achilles, Bilbo, Doggo, Call Doggo. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Now, if I was playing, um, if I was playing one of the, uh, you know, the clans out east, Call Drogo would probably be an east, like an instant winner. Duke Doggo, Corn, Wolfie, Moon Pie, Picora Doggo, uh, Party Pup, Taz, more Corn, lots, lots of calls for Corn. Uh, Phallus? What does that mean? Uh, or do you, are you trying to get me to say phallus? <laughs> um, corn called doggo, another one, horse pope, come on. <laughs> Crescent, mm, pedalite, Poseidon, uh, got a white elephant, oh my god, Mr. Inadequate. Called doggo, <laughs> Josephu, Joestar, Zeus, Doge, doggo. We might, we might actually, I'm seeing, uh, this game actually released already? No, no, I've got early access thanks to the wonderful people over at Crusader, over, over at Crusader Kings, over at Paradox Interactive. Uh, I do have early access. The game releases tomorrow uh, in 24 hours and 10 minutes, I believe, the game releases. Uh, Abu, oh, Aladdin's pet monkey. Mmm, mmm, tempting. Called Dogo, Strong Doggo, Corn. I apologize that we're taking so long to name a dog, but, I mean, this is important, right? Unkid Ragnar. Oh my god, the names. The names don't stop. What have I done? <laughs> I just asked a chat of 400 viewers to name a dog. <laughs> Oops. Atem, Abdul, Korn, T, Pepe, Unkid, Unkid. I suppose we could go with Unkid and do a cross-reference to our um, to our Bannerlord playthrough. I see a couple of requests for Unkid. Dog.png, Khan, Red Eye. I'm going to take a quick sip of water. I'm right here. 
Um, <laughs> the current king of Morocco. <laughs> Asaf the Conqueror. Smile.jpg. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, um, Baba Yaga. Jar Jar. Hey. <laughs> He's a good dog. He's a good boy. Buddy. Mmm. Duke Dago. Jabba. Almo Dogged. <laughs> I, I've seen I've seen quite a few Unkeeds. I think Doggy McDogface. That is tempting. I think we'll go with Unkeed. It sounds like a fitting. Um, it sounds like area appropriate, and uh, it's also uh, it's also um, it, it's also got a, a level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's go, let's go with Unkeed. Man, it's so hard. It's so difficult naming a dog like this. Dwee Nacella, thank you for subscribing. I hope you are enjoying the uh, dog naming simulator over here. Um, but yeah, let's go with Unkeed. Or what? Nah. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Oh no! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a woman. It's a woman. It's a, it's a female dog. I don't want to say the word because YouTube will be like, "Hey, that's a, oh, you're not allowed." It's a female dog. Hold on. That's a good point. <laughs> Do we have a female dog named Unkeed? Um, damn. <laughs> Your new liege. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go with Unkeed. Let's stick with Unkeed. <laughs> what a great name. Let's add add insult to injury to to our our cross reference here. Unkid, what a great name. Let's uh, let's move on. Uh, my new liege, basically, basically. Now, all right. What's the next target? Uh, like I said, we need to look to go a step up over here. What duchy? The duchy of Marrakesh. We can make this title if we have four of its counties. Now, unfortunately, only two of it can be conquered by us. The rest belong to our father. Called her Tajin. Oh, damn. That's a good name. All right, folks. No more no more name suggestions. Uh, I'm going to actually say that in chat. Uh, so that they don't keep coming. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestions. Oh, that, was, that, was, that was tough. Um, ooh, hey. That's something positive for once. I've spent a lot of time with Idris recently. That's my cousin. Uh, he's always up to something, and the time we spend together is never boring. A better friend than him is hard to find. That's great, actually. I, I really I really do want um, good relations with my family. Uh, it's very different from your typical kind of approach to, uh, to, to <laughs> Crusader Kings. But I wouldn't mind having a good... Uh, uh, a, a good relationship with my with my family. <laughs> yes, absolutely, uh, Esteban. It's it's official. All right. What is our next step then? Do we take Asfi? It'll take us over our domain limit. Uh, we might want to wait until we're an adult. Oh, you know what? Let's help in this war. Let's uh, let's work on our prestige a little bit. Let's help in this war. We can go ahead and raise the troops down over here instead. Join our father in his conquest because this is. The Maghreb du Jour War for the Sheikdom of Dudga. That means my dad's trying to increase the holdings that he will pass on to me. It's Haram to pet a dog. That's actually an event as well. Uh, I forgot to mention that when I was explaining everything a dog means. Because I'm playing as a Muslim character and I have a pet dog, there is actually a specific event which might come up over here as well. Um, and that event is all about, like, hey, you know, the council, like, yes, it's technically not correct, but, like, how do, how do I feel about that? Like, there is actually, um, there's actually, uh, there's layers, man. It's like, a, it's like an ogre. It's like an onion. There's layers. God, so much to love. Uh, I suggest waiting as well. Take Asfi. Well, if we take Asfi, again, we go over our domain limit, and that'll start causing some issues with how much money and, uh, and, and troops we can acquire. Uh, and Ignis, thank you very much for becoming our newest channel member joining us as a knight for the knights elite make sure you join in to our discord as well uh link to that is in the description down below right underneath the stream or video if you're watching on vod for those of you watching afterwards um but yes you'll get a special title there and everything but thank you very much for uh for joining as a, as a member it means a lot and uh, 82 imps or impsy Imps, I'm guessing. Thank you for subscribing as well. Hope you are enjoying the show. Lots more to get done over here, though. Let's, uh... Who, 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 wait, huh? who are we at war with? Budka. Oh. These guys. Okay. Now, let's see what's going on. Zayd, uh, Zaydism's fervor increased by 10. Emir Hassan gained some uh, piety for himself. Good for you. Fervor is a very important factor in uh, in religion as well. 
it affects, uh, like if we take a look at one of our counties over here, fervor, the difference of fervor between two faiths determines how people feel about each other. Hostilities or or or, or not or, or what, what have you. Where is... He's up there. Let's go ahead and join dad. I'm like, join dad. It's so... I'm getting into it. Um, it's so... It's so... It's such a different play experience looking at chat and, and stuff as well. Uh, am I a developer? No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a developer on on this game. If that's if that's what you're saying, I am not. Uh, just a, a humble YouTuber who was fortunate enough to get early access thanks to Paradox. This game's got a 10 on 10 on IGN. I can't wait to play. Does it really? Cool. Very cool. Uh, hey, hey, Juan dos Santos, how is it going? Walking by your father's side is sufficient, or is there an official "I'll aid you" button? Um, interesting. I'll touch on that in just a second. Good question. Unkid runaway. No, man, god damn it. Okay. I'm out riding. My dog Unkid besides me. When she suddenly runs off into the drylands, my retinue assures me she will come back. But what if she doesn't? So heal, Unkid. I said heal. Wait for me. I can go chasing after her. Or I will be patient and hope that she comes back. I I think we go chasing after her. Try to catch her. What's the worst that could happen? We fall off our horse and hurt ourselves? I'm okay with that. Let's go chasing. My god, please. Uh, now, in terms of helping um, people in a... Oh, thank god. I find Unkid after a few minutes of searching, happily wagging her tail and pretending like nothing is wrong. She is clutching something in her mouth. Now she gently places it before me. I see it's a couple of golden coins. Are you kidding me? <laughs> awesome. Uh, hey, that's, you know what? What are dogs good for? Everything. Picture that in the voice of uh, Salahuddin from, uh, from the Kingdom of Heaven. <laughs> what are dogs good for? Nothing. Everything. Uh, anyway, so, alliances. Now, we weren't called as an ally into this war. We, we are joining it because he is our liege lord, so it's a little different. But if you if an ally goes to war and calls you into that war and you say, yes, I'll help you. So first of all, when you get called into a war, you can decline and it will not break the alliance. You can decline. Um, but if you accept, you actually have to do something. Because if you don't, if you don't send in troops, if you don't send money or anything, they will be upset at you. They will take issues. Uh, they will drop opinion. Uh, you might lose prestige as well. Can't remember off the top of my head, but it is you, you actually have to be an active participant in an ally war. <laughs> yeah, basically, Keto. Uh, what's everyone's thought on Warhammer 40k 9th edition? Oh, I don't know it well enough to answer that question. Unkid ran away. You should have ransomed my god, Esteban. <laughs> really can't wait to download it tomorrow. Yeah, man, I, I hear that. I've been waiting for this for almost a year now. October of last year it was announced, right? At uh, PDXCon. What, a, what an announcement, too. Whenever I see my bully, Christopher, he has come up with some new way of tormenting me. He followed me an entire day, making barking noises and calling me a mutt. He scares me, but what can I do? At least I'm getting very good at hiding, makes us craven, or maybe I can get a hang for it, which makes us arbitrary. Oh. Damn, man. Okay. Losing Marshall is, is, is quite a problem. Now, we are generous, which is a virtue, giving us plus one piety. Being arbitrary gives us minus two piety. Mathematically, we'd still end up okay. <laughs> but, the second time, second time, honestly, I'm tempted. Now, Zaidis will not like me. That opinion drop is, is really bad. But it helps our intrigue. It hurts our stewardship. Oh my god, man. Helps our natural dread as well, though. Is Christopher going to be the one that, uh, that makes us a different kind of mad. It's it's a it's a it's a it's a risky take, but reduced martial means we get fewer soldiers. Reduced prowess means we can die more easily in battle, or if we get into a you know fight in some other way, reduces vassal opinion as well. Actually, it improves our chance of dying in battle because we're we're cowards. But people who are brave will not like us. You know what? Maybe I should get him hanged for it. Maybe I should get him hanged for it. God. That was going to be a middle click. For the tooltip. 
but uh, it was a left click. It's okay. We, we've committed. We're our, our other vassal over here. Hamad, are you in charge of anything? He's unlanded. We could swap him out for Pamin, who hates us. He wants a seat on the council, so we'll help with that. I exposed his secret, right? Right. Maybe he'll... Maybe he'll be okay. He was fired from the council as well. Maybe he'll... Maybe he'll be okay. His learning is a lot higher. And that'll help with our... With our piety. Piety? Piety. <laughs> Let's go ahead and assign him. Cannot be fired or assigned another position. That's fine. Oh, his intrigue is good. But again, we do not want him... Um, we do not want him... Uh, as our spy master. Even though his intrigue is much better than our current spy master. That's dangerous. Um, this is a... Don't trust Pamin. I know, right? It's tough. It's it's not that much of a drop either, but it's not that much of a gain. Like eleven gives us um, plus point five five. Twelve might give us a bit more. The thing is, you can only assign them once. I'll take a risk. I'll show him that I trust him, despite our earlier my my childhood mistakes. If stuff comes to bite me in the butt. I'm cool with that. That's the kind of playthrough I like, where things bite me and things go poorly. Or, you know, you take risks and mistakes happen. Let's do it. There we go. That helps our piety. To the abhorrent Prince al Qasim, we have been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. No more. We're done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty, you will wish you had treated us more fairly. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not good. Okay, so that is our faction over here. Pushing their ultimatum. Yep. Now their military strength is weaker than ours. Not by that much, but they are weaker than us. So I suppose a peasant should know their place. It will drop the control level. But if I just give them a tax lien, it'll drop control levels significantly. And it gives them increased autonomy. Which helps with popular opinion, which is nice. But it also reduces how quickly control increases. Esteban, thank you for joining in. I hope you had a good time. Have a wonderful evening, night, whatever it might be right now. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and uh, remind the peasants that their lot is to serve their lord. Watch, I die. To the cocky al Qasim, your arrogance knows no bounds. Worry not, you shall soon be taught a lesson in humility. Time to rally the troops. Uh, what is this? This is this is the other war. We've got our own soldiers already rallied up. There is the peasant uprising. We need to make sure we don't get caught up by this army over here. That would be a problem. Let's go ahead and crush those rebels. Um, I've got to go around the bend over here. The Atlas Mountains actually causing some navigation issues for us over here. Issues again, challenges. Issues sounds like it's a problem with the with the game. I mean challenges. Uh, Akaberry, thank you for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying the show. If you are, you know what to do. Leave a like, or uh, just let me know in chat. Just let me know in chat. That works too. Again, this will be up as a VOD afterwards as well. So anybody who's, you know, caught part of it or is, you know, hoping to watch it later, you will be able to watch it on YouTube. As soon as it's done processing, I will put it up. Uh, but we have a fair bit more to play today. I'm hoping to accomplish a fair bit more. And if we're really lucky, if we're really lucky, I don't think it'll happen. But uh, Sultan Yaya might uh, have an unfortunate incident during one of these battles. Just saying. Unkid. Charmed a vassal. Oh, man. I haven't seen this event before. I stumble upon my vassal, Wali Musa, crouching beside my dog, Unkid, vigorously scratching her stomach. This dog of yours is quite the charmer, my lord. She is a good girl. Wali Musa gains 20 opinion of me. Beautiful. Dogs, man. Do you know this game is less fantastic than CK2, or have you not run into anything crazy yet? So, I haven't run into anything, into anything crazy yet, and I believe, if I remember correctly, this is off memory, if I remember correctly, they were aiming for less fantastical stuff, at least at launch. Like, you're not going to get the Aztec invasion. Uh, I haven't yet played a chess game with death. Uh, though I have, though there are, like, witch covens and things like that, there are still, you know, all those kinds of things happening. There are still those kinds of things to explore. Um, but from what I've seen and from what I remember the developers saying a long time ago, uh, the intention was to, uh, what was to make it a little less fantastical. We are 13. Our father is 28. So he's not, he's not an old man, which is another thing I like about this is, is that, uh, like I said earlier, I feel like we actually want to cooperate with our father. Not a common thing in, uh, in Crusader Kings. <laughs> 
A stranger is brought to me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my, gu my guard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Cantella, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but I am wary of the road. If you allow me to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Embrace Allah and this will be your home. Mm, it's not bad. We'd have, we'd have a vassal who is of our faith and everything with positive, or not a vassal, but a courtier who we can make into a vassal. The more, the merrier. He'll like us a lot more. We get a strong hook, okay? Uh, or we have no room for the likes of you. No, no, we're generous. That would be the opposite of what we do. He's gregarious, he's vengeful, and he's sadistic. Hmm, we, uh, we might get along pretty well. Some decent stats, actually. Not, 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 not great. But I, I would have him, oh, he's, he is, he might be from the uh, islands over here. Uh, but yeah. Embrace Allah, and this will be your home. Welcome. I wonder if you can get something from controlling the entrance to the Mediterranean Sea. You mean, uh, like, both sides of this? I suspect... Hmm. We can find out pretty soon. <laughs> we can find out pretty soon. Where's my army at? There it is. I'm trying to get up over here. Gotta, gotta crush this uh, peasant uprising. Now, they have very poor quality troops, so we shouldn't have any trouble dealing with them, I suspect. They are also suffering from attrition because they've got us under siege. So, uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Sounds fishy, the dapper hat. I mean, yeah, it could be a problem. It could be an issue, just allowing foreigners, visitors into our land like that, but, uh, we are generous. More the merrier. Nah, nah. We're, we're not so generous. <laughs> Asking him to convert is, uh, I think, fair. We'll, we'll need that, I think for success. Speed things up a little bit. We just want to go ahead and, and take Salah. Chances are even, really. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. 3%. It's not a lot, but it's something, I suppose. He's just a vengeful, sadistic stranger. What could go wrong? Exactly. Ah, oh, look at that. Cowards. They want to fight us over here? Tempting, isn't it? If they come over here, it's still balanced. They have a better commander. Do we have someone else we can send in command? Nah. Zafir is our highest level commander. Fair enough. Pull around. Up that way. I think we're probably going to get engaged over here. <laughs> Mr. Inadequate. I'm sorry, I guess. <laughs> Love your content, but you're making me feel like 23 and a half hours is too long to wait. Isn't it? Man, isn't it? Ah, right, here we go. Beautiful. We've won this. Yes, down on your knees where you belong. Damn peasants. Damn peasants. Peasant uprising. Enforce our demands. Yes, the peasant faction is disbanded and leader Axel is imprisoned. All rebelling counties have their popular opinion forcibly increased. We get locals pacified, which will help public opinion for 10 years. Peasant rabble is destroyed and we imprison Axel. We'll, we'll act. We'll ask him a lot of questions as well. Oh my god, battles won. 1,050%. Okay, enforced demands. Done. To the cocky al Qasim. May your years be short and miserable. I know when I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. Excellent. So be it. And let's return to the war down over here. Help dad out. The faction has disbanded. Of course it has. Let's just get to the border first. Unpause. And let's just take a quick look over here. Here you go. Locals pacified. Popular opinion. Still a negative. Off with his head. You know what? Uh, your liege can help you, but uh, but I don't think he needed to um, in, in this circumstance. I've seen I've seen other people's is when they have uh, issues with uprisings, you can you can ask to join them in their wars. Uh, so I suspect the liege will help you if if you need help. But I have never I haven't been in that position yet. I haven't been in that position yet. And if we take a look actually at our prisoners, we've got quite a few. We do have quite a few, and we could... I mean, look at these guys have been in prison for seven years. Seven years! We can take a look at, um... Ransom? Ah, oh, we can only gain a favor. No one to ransom them off to, I guess. Gain favors. He's terrified of us. I mean, the, uh... Axel over here, who was the peasant leader... Must learn a lesson, I think. We can execute him. Which I think isn't unfair. He'd be burned at the stake. Because he's a known criminal. 
I'll be allowed to execute him without being viewed as a tyrant. And uh, I think it's important to make an example of, uh, of would-be rebels. Well, not just a would-be rebel, he was a rebel. So, uh, yes, I think we should execute Excel for being the leader there. <laughs> you could eat him to gain his powers. Uh, I'm not a cannibal. <laughs> I'm not a cannibal. Uh, let's go ahead and execute him. Excel was executed on your orders. Excellent. And again, we're not... <laughs> Excellent. Uh, we're not a tyrant or anything for it because, again, it's well within our, our right to do so. We can release some of our prisoners. Like, we can ransom them off. We can negotiate them away. We can demand their conversion uh, to our faith, which is helpful as well. Not a bad idea, actually, to get some of these guys to become, you know, potential friends, I suppose. Friends. Loose use of the word. We'll deal with our prisoners later. <laughs> Riley Mitchell <laughs> executes leader of rebels. This shows I am not a tyrant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so well put. So well put. Um, <laughs> the best display of not being a tyrant is to act like a tyrant. Burn, baby, burn. That's right, Captain Cena. That's right. Uh, look, I mean, this war is not going to be an issue. We've got their last little place over here under siege. So let's go ahead and see if we can't join in. Try and gain something out of the wars that aren't ours. I miss CK2 screams. Oh yeah, good point. Unkid, feet and paw. It has become a habit to walk Unkid daily. And I am not sure which of us enjoys the fresh air and sun the most. Huh, <laughs> fresh air and sun. This kid ain't living in 2020, right? Uh, <laughs> Unkid bounds ahead and looks back at me and barks as if to say, catch up. And on we walk. That gives us walking dog, which gives our health a boost. So that is um, a stat or, you know, have something like that happen to us. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the, 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 the dog has many, many uses. We have our pet dog, which helps our diplomacy and prowess. I think we can speed time up a little bit more. Money is looking a little not so good. Again, that generosity is hurting us, the negative 10%. And plus, we are giving a fair bit to our liege as well. Now, raised armies as well, of course, costing us a fair bit. So that's okay. Uh, we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll start making that money back in no time, hopefully. Wait, the war is done. <laughs> look away for a second to talk to chat, to look at chat, and our war is done. Fair enough. Now we've got, we, I think we wait until adulthood. When we become an adult in just two years time, we might have enough stewardship. Jeez, it's terrible. But we'll get married as well, and with marriage comes... Uh, her ability to help us, our wife's ability to help us. Um, and that should uh, allow us to have more, more, a, a larger domain. The things Christopher put me through as a child still weigh heavy on me. The stares, the laughter, the pain. Every time I see him, my mood is sure to turn sour. He might have become an adult now, but I know that he will never become a decent person. I will never forgive him. Lose opinion of him because he was my childhood bully. Good point. Control. Good point. Uh, why is your cousin the liege? So that's because... Well, so first of all, let's take a look at control over here really quickly. <laughs> yeah, okay, we need to work on that for sure. Good point. <laughs> uh, over to our council. Always got to click on everything before you click on the right one. That's a tradition. Go ahead and improve control up over there. And what's actually the deal down over here at Unfa? Control's okay. It's been... Because it grows naturally as well. Uh, but it's certainly a problem up at Subta. Um, in terms of my, my, my cousin being my liege, I guess, you know what? So the thing is, uh, Emir Ali, he starts with more like land and stuff than us. And he starts, I believe, as an Emir. So what our father has done is he's gone ahead and reorganized his vassals so that I'm now under service of, well, look at that in a second. I'm now under service of my cousin who is in service of my father. Time to use some of the intrigue. Well, I have to be an adult first. I'm 14 years old and a, wa a veteran in three or four wars. Damn right, living that full life. Living that full life. Yeah, we're, we're still only betrothed. We'll get married soon, in, in two years. Now, what's this? Interesting that you would call me to a war. I remember when I called you to a war. Against the Sheikdom of Tindouf. We could assist. It'll help our... Uh, it helps our prestige and stuff, which we are in dire need of. And it gives us something to do with our 400 nearly 500 soldiers. What is their strength like? 483. So we we will overpower them. And Tuet might join as well. Sure, I will accept. I will accept this call to war because I am a good friend, a good ally. This is how it's supposed to work, buddy. I hope you understand. Join against, yeah, these guys. Just wanted to make sure before I joined into the wrong war. Go ahead and raise 
our entire army again man these guys get no rest <laughs> no rest for the wicked am i right no rest for the wicked but yeah it's a pretty good sizable army 429 that's not bad it's a little over 420 and let's make our way down over here what i suspect will happen is these guys will commit to the war we can go by sea. I suppose that'll be faster, otherwise it wouldn't give me that as a suggestion. It costs us four gold to embark with an army this big. It'll get us down here faster. Now, I don't know if that's exactly what I want. I kind of want to arrive after these guys have, have committed to moving further into uh, enemy lands over here. Might be going a little, uh, a little uh, too aggressively. Let's stay put for a while. And no, so what happens is, when I die... When I, when, when I pass away, as my father's eldest son, I will gain his primary title. So even though I'm serving under my cousin right now, when my father passes away, I will become his liege lord. Because I will become the sultan of the Idrisid Sultanate. That's how that works. Uh, so I will, I will ultimately, when Pop dies, I become... I become Big Papa. Uh, that's that's the, the play there. So it doesn't matter who our liege is right now. It's okay. It's a little, you know, it hurts that dad would give more power to my cousin than me. But it's okay. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not mad. He's got greater things planned for me. Hey, Brun, how's it going, man? Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Now, these guys seem to have committed enough. We can go ahead and scoop down over here. Once I'm an adult, I can totally... Uh, prepare a scheme to murder him and and murdering somebody uh, is a pretty interesting like activity as well uh you don't just like click a button and they get murdered you start the plan to murder them and you have to convince other people to join your plan to murder them so you know if other people in his court don't like him for whatever reason or they like you more they might join the plot uh if other people feel like you should be the person in charge they might join your plot um but all these people joining your plot someone might slip up Someone might drink too much and mention it. Someone might, you know, get, uh, have, have secrets found on him. And the next thing you know, your plot has been discovered. Like, there's so much to, to killing somebody. But there's a lot of risk there as well. But you totally can. You can absolutely go in. And as long as you're an adult, you can, uh, you can kill your dad. <laughs> I'm doing well, Laura. How's it going? How's it going? I am doing well myself. Uh, but it looks like things are about to go a little sideways here. Umkid the Troublemaker. My vassal, Wali Butros, approaches me, rage in his eyes and dog in his hand, dragged along by the scruff of its neck. As he reaches me, I see that it is my dear Unkid he is holding. I found this beast among my things. What wasn't chewed to bits was covered in excrement. So either I can compensate him, give him some give him money that I don't have, or just kind of shrug and say, listen, man, he's just a dog. Now, he's, just, he's, he's in charge of a republic, so again, his opinion doesn't affect uh, what we can get in terms of money or, or any of that. But as I was talking about killing people, if someone is plotting to kill me right now, and I have a bunch of upset vassals, uh, then I could be in trouble, <laughs> right? Because they will join that plot, and it might cause me trouble. But listen, man, she's just a dog. Relax. She's just a dog. The other thing is, as we become an adult, we can participate in a lot of other activities as well that affect diplomacy directly. Uh, we can um, sway people. Ooh, they're coming back right now. They're not the strongest army, but I, I am concerned if they get too close, we'd have to move out this way. We're losing this war horribly. Do you guys have no army at all? Where is your army? Ah, they're coming. Okay. Okay, so hopefully, I mean, if they do engage us, we can hold the line and uh, and the first army of Tagaza will, will come and join in. We can hope. We can hope. Plotting intensifies. Yeah, man, plotting plotting in this game is a ton of fun. And, you know, I wasn't, like, super planning on it, but our intrigue is so high. That's the skill that matters most for plotting. It's so high that I, I think we probably will get involved. Now, over here, we're going to take a bit of a risk, but we will be bold. We are no craven. Uh, we will hold the ground over here, allow this army to strike at us, and hopefully our allies will uh, will arrive in due time to, uh, to reinforce us. Call your dad as you always do. So I cannot call my father to this war because it is not my war. It is a friend's war. So it can't call dad. It is a friend's war. Unwelcome attention. A new bully for me now. Wally Kentella has been pestering me for a long time. 
Many of the other children listen to him, and he uses his influence to turn them against me. I cannot get him to stop, no matter what I do. He is the worst. How old is this guy? 12 years old. Hey, he's younger than me. Just, I don't know, knock him off the high tower or something. <laughs> Looks like it's a balanced battle. We have a better army commander, higher quality troops, more men at arms that counter theirs because they have their uh, skirmishers and we have our bowmen. So we might actually win this battle entirely on our own. But we might complete the siege first, which would be wonderful. So having won the siege, we now control it and we got a little bit of money. That's nice. We can raise more... Uh, <laughs> I'm a bully magnet, yeah, aren't I? Why? Why would you bully this gorgeous hunk of a man? Oh, we're almost an adult, actually. 2nd of January. It's an interesting birthday. Forever bullied, yeah, honestly. <laughs> F's in chat for my ego, I guess. Prisoner's taken. Oh, I captured his wife. Now, now, now. We could make a quick buck out of that. Because again, prisoners do help, but only important prisoners. And I guess, uh, I guess a wife of a of a <laughs> of a of a ruler doesn't really count. So sure, I'll go ahead and make the money there. Wealth is always helpful. These guys are going to come through and attack us. We will again hold the line. We are no craven here. The totally non-tyrannical chopping block. Yeah, man. There's no tyranny here. What are you talking about? <laughs> that money will come in handy. A little, little cash boost. Over here, I think we'll do okay. Paris is doing well. Yeah, yeah, we're doing okay. We're outnumbered, but again, we counter their... Like, a whole 100 of their soldiers are countered by ours. We've crushed them. Absolutely crushed them. What glorious timing. What absolutely glorious timing. We win that battle and we come of age at the same time. Is it me or does he look older? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually age as you as you as as time goes on. And, and that's reflected in the models. Which I think, by the way, compared to what we saw when the game was first revealed. Mwah. <laughs> With the help of him, me, I have completed my studies of intrigue. Even if the highest aspects of the subject eludes me. I lived up to everyone's expectations and learned more than most. Okay. As I take my first steps into adulthood, I find myself reminiscing about some of the people who have made an impact on the man I have become. The friendship I shared with Idris meant a lot to me when we were both young, and to still have him by my side means a lot. Again, that's my cousin, so we're friends with our cousin. The things Wally Kenchella put me through as a child still weigh heavy on me, and every time I see him, my mood is sure to turn sour. That's our, that's our new bully, that, uh, that, uh, that, that just arrived. I see uh, it's time to kill dad. He is of age. Party. Yeah, you're 16. Uh, Goonga, thank you for subscribing. Hope you're enjoying the show. Happy birthday to me, indeed. Only played CK2 and I got bored of those kiddo faces. This is kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it, right? Time to chop, chop, age up. <laughs> Damn right. I suppose so. So Prince al Kasim, you're a man now. Absolutely. So let's take a look at what's happened. Now we've gained intricate web weaver. That's our education trait. That's what we earned uh, because of the education focus we had and who our teacher was. Uh, that boosts up our intrigue significantly. Unfortunately, our stewardship still sucks. <laughs> oh my god, our stewardship really sucks. That's not good. Um, Himmy is no longer our guardian. I won't forget. Well, yep, I lost the trade rowdy because we became an adult. I'm a man now. There's a couple of things to handle now. Uh, as an adult, let's let this battle, you know, completely come to its conclusion there. Battle one. Now, there's a couple things to handle as an adult, which is a whole other slew of, uh, of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Mechanics, I suppose. Quickly first, let's head on over to our dungeon. And Chief just thin me over here. We can ransom you off, make a quick buck over here as well. 25 gold is no small amount. Yep, yeah, sweet 16 indeed, right? Uh, and Thales, can we ransom any of these guys? Nah, these guys will just be, uh, favors. They're comfy in their cells, I'm sure. Look at them. They, they seem pretty comfy. They seem all right. We'll deal with them later. Uh, all right. So, as an adult, the first thing we ought to do is um, pick a lifestyle focus. Uh, I was sorry. I was looking at chat there. Yeah, we will we'll improve relations with our with our wifey as well, for sure. Uh, well, our, our wife-to-be. Uh, so, you can choose any lifestyle um, at any point in time. And if you choose a lifestyle, you choose a focus within that lifestyle and... In that lifestyle, you gain experience points, which unlocks perks as you gain enough experience points. And they can do all kinds of things. Like, for example, Taxman will improve uh, how much money you get from taxes. Um, likeable makes you more likeable, improves opinions. That is something we should consider as well. Uh, but because we are 
because of our education trait, we would do better in Intrigue. So if we take a look at the Intrigue area, we've got a couple of things that we can focus on. We can improve our fertility so we have more babies, improves attraction opinion, allows us to seduce people more easily. Uh, we can go with Skullduggery Focus, which means agents are more likely to join us in, you know, things that we might get up to. Uh, and it improves our Intrigue as well directly. Or we can go with Intimidation Focus. Threats, both overt and subtle, guide the path to true power. Improves our Intrigue and also improves our natural dread. Now, dread we touched on a little bit earlier. It's a stat that you always go towards your natural number. Ours is 15 because we're arbitrary. We'd add another 30 to that. So if we're ever below 30, we'd tick up to 30. And if we're, below, if we're above 30, we'd tick down to 30. So that's how natural dread works. Dread, as I touched on a little bit earlier, means we might terrify other people and scare them from joining factions or schemes against us. And we can use that fear to our advantage as well. So really, it's uh, to me right now, it's, it's, a, it's a matter of a couple things. Either we go away from our education focus and work towards um, something like likable or, or soon forgiven to help counteract tyranny if we get into that world, uh, positions of power, like administrator is not a bad thing to go down. Uh, or, or, we go with Intrigue, have an Intimidation focus, improves our Intrigue, also improves our Dread, and here we can go down a couple of paths. Schemer over here allows us with, uh, helps us with schemes overall, finding secrets, things like that, uh, you know, murder plots, things like that. Uh, Seducer allows us to have more babies, um, so that's obviously not a bad idea. It also allows us to seduce people from outside of our realm, by the way, which, you know, if you, you know, it's not, you know, something we might want to look into. Uh, and then there's the torturer side of things where we are able to um, torture people to improve our stats. Uh, we actually gain dread faster. Uh, there, there's, we, we, oh, we could remove the damage to piety when we torture people because as a Muslim, when we torture people, it, uh, it hurts piety, which is very important to us as we discussed already. So maybe we go down the torturer path. We can also impose a fear tax, which uh, increases tax contribution out of fear of us. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking here if, uh, like how long the stream is it's yeah, the target is three hours. So in about 30 minutes time, we'll be done for the day, but we will continue this storyline in the future. Chat, let me know. Are you interested in seeing this storyline continue in the future? Uh, or would you rather a different storyline or, and if you're watching a VOD, let me know in the comments as well, but chat, what do you think? I'm thinking not tomorrow because everybody's going to be playing the game if they're, you know, if they're planning on buying it tomorrow. Uh, but maybe later on in the week, we pick up with episode two of Maghrebi Madness. Uh, or maybe we do this like a once a week weekly thing or, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but, but I definitely want to stream Crusader Kings 3 a lot more often on the channel. I'd love to know your thoughts on, you know, if you're interested in, in seeing it continue on here. Uh, intimidate, or, or if you want us to continue this playthrough versus start up a new one. I think I want to continue this one personally. Actually, you know, talk about all those accomplishments we wanted to make. So, intimidation focus, enough of me rambling. Now, we can change our focus every five years. But for now, I think we're fine with intimidation focus. Uh, use that to, 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 to keep people in line, right? And then experience needs to be gained before we can unlock these perks. But I do think we'll walk, walk will work down the torturer pathway. Now, betrothed can marry. That's the next thing to take care of. You can break a betrothal. Every week, every day. I see a lot of continues. I think, I think that's the way to go, right? Uh, you can break a betrothal. If we break a betrothal, it'll break our alliance uh, and it will upset these people. But I have no reason to break the betrothal. I mean, these guys are, they're not a very strong ally or anything and and truly once we're at our full strength they'll be beneath us but another thing to consider is as we become the sultan if we push to make the empire of maghreb we can actually ask these guys to become our vassals without having to war with them so i feel like that's a nice thing to experiment with as well they're old friends they uh i'm sure they didn't come to our our call to war but I think it'd be the right thing to do. It would be the respectable thing to do to stay true to our word. 
<laughs> no ease. It was because of this. Uh, it's because of Crusader Kings that I've been AWOL for the last like so very long. Just lots, lots of Crusader Kings content coming out outside of streams as well over the course of uh, over the course of this episode. By the way, just a heads up to everybody who's watching right now. So keep an eye out for that. You might be interested in subscribing if you aren't already. So let's go ahead and stick with this betrothal. We will send the proposal. Let this marriage happen. And you are absolutely correct. Our wife to be doesn't really like us. Well, she's our wife now. May Asa gladly accept your hand in marriage. May Allah grant us long life and many children. My serene husband. Serene. <laughs> That's the word she's starting with. Let's see what words things end up with. Uh, so she doesn't like us because we're arbitrary. Our religions don't match. We're a foreign culture. And uh, she's diligent and we're lazy. And they don't like that. Listen. We can improve relations in a couple of ways. We can send her a gift. Uh, we could romance or seduce her. We could sway her. There's a couple of options. We could also demand her conversion or adopt her faith. Uh, she will accept a conversion, actually. It'll hurt her opinion of us. But. But. No, no, no. Sorry. It'll help her opinion of us. Sorry. Um, the chance of it succeeding is affected by our opinions of each other. And as you can see, because we're opposing culture or opposing faiths, it's a negative 20. So the conversion my tolerable husband <laughs> the conversion will do the trick let's go ahead and demand that conversion and i suspect it won't be an issue yes excellent she's now zaidi as well now let's go ahead and take a look at our council she can either assist us across the board in like minimal amounts or the youtuber sarko are you sure about serene madam yeah right uh, so yeah so she can either help across the board with a fraction of her skill or we can have her focus on a specific thing to help us with. I'm thinking manage domain because our stewardship is really poor without her. You subtract the four, right? You can see that's improved our domain limit as well because she's helping us there. Um, our, our diplomacy is all right without her. It'd be 10. I think that's okay. She will knife you. Doesn't matter if your wife likes you in CK3 apart from killing you. Uh, <laughs> murder, I mean, babies, murder, uh, infidelity, all those conversations open up, right? Uh, there, there is all of that. It's not bad to have her helping us across the board, but for now, let's go with manage domain. And the, the cool thing about this as well is you can actually change things around here. Um, you can actually change things around here. So this increases our domain limit by two. Why are you not, uh, maybe we just have to... Okay, I guess we're fine there. Uh, so another, sorry, I interrupted my own thought. Another thing I like here is that we can actually switch as we go along. We can, we can, we can decide moment to moment what we need, and we can change it around. And you can see her opinion changes as well depending on on what what's happening. Because if she gets into court politics, our our personal diplomacy improves, right? Uh, but for now, let's go with uh, let's take a look at managed domain. How does that affect our tax rate? Yeah, a little bit. Point two. So, managed domain is a plus nine. We'd be a fool not to take on that, right? Um, everything else I think is okay, though. Our intrigue is great. Our martial, that's suffering a little bit. Not the end of the world. And we've got our diplomacy over here as well. Doing okay. General opinion plus four. That's okay. Now, we are Muslim. And with that comes the benefit of arranging more marriages for ourselves. So we can find more spouses. And again, we can look at them for a variety of reasons. Same thing as anything else, we can form alliances. Unfortunately, only small petty alliances with mosques over here, which I'm not interested in. Uh, we can also, again, having multiple uh, having multiple um, spouses is also helpful because, uh, so more babies is one thing, but as a Muslim, if we do not have enough spouses, we suffer loss of piety uh, because we're not living up to you know expectations. So let's take some more spouses on. Um, I wouldn't mind having... I mean, I guess making more alliances is not a problem. What we could do is... <laughs> spouse for the spouse god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, collecting spouses over here. Uh, what we could do is we could take a look at our realm. Take a look at our vassals who aren't so happy. Uh, because some of them... Yeah, okay, this is good. See, so as you can see, some of that unhappiness comes because they are a powerful clan vassal, but we don't have an official alliance. It's a, it's a pretty hefty negative 20. Um, so we could do that. This guy really doesn't like us. Let's only look at our clan vassals, though. So we can pick and choose accordingly. Okay, sure. You know what? Let's, uh, let's take on some of these vassals 
daughters, I suppose, if they have them. Yeah, well, I mean, we know we have them. 12-year-old Andali, again, before y'all start making your comments. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a betrothal. It's a betrothal. We don't get married right away. It's a betrothal. Um, so when they become 16, we get married. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think being betrothed to uh, Andali over here is not a bad idea. It'll help with our relations with one of our vassals. Also Maghrebi, which is good. They, actually, we should also check here. They are cynical. They're shy. Fair enough. Personal scheme power is reduced. I don't mind that. They're rowdy and they're charming. Those are childhood traits, though. So those will uh, those will go away once they hit adulthood. Um, so sure. Again, it helps their prestige, but not mine. It'll be of House Idrisid, so that's cool. Go ahead and send that proposal. Don't. Why not? Why not? Unki deserves a spot on the council. I wish. I wish. I don't know. I mean, these, 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 uh, well, they don't have inheritable traits, but, uh, the stats are fine, and the kids will probably end up okay. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Multiple wives is necessary. We need to appease the gods, right? Or, sorry, <laughs> Allah, not the gods, plural. <laughs> I have my head chopped off for saying that. Go ahead and send that proposal. And, uh, we need to get another wife beyond that as well. Greetings, Sheikh Al Qasim of Garb. I accept your ransom offer and hope to see your chiefess. Timmy returned to me in good health. All oh, right, yeah, of course. <laughs> Forgot about that. No, no, no. They're, they're, we're not going to marry them. It's a betrothal. They'll become an adult before we get married. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's a betrothal. Council invitation. Ah, excellent. Greetings, cousin. As an influential sheikh, it is only fair that you have a voice on my council. In recognition of this fact, I hereby offer you the position of Chancellor of Fez. Really? A Chancellor? Okay, I would, I'd expect Spy Master, but fair enough. I will accept this with great honor. And let's go ahead and find ourselves another spouse. Again, looking at alliance power, because these are all of our uh, our vassals, right? We want to maximize the benefit there. So you can see again over here, because we are now allied to uh, Wali Yusuf, he likes us more. He likes us more. And the, the secret we revealed, I suppose the impact of that is gone already. So that's good. Well, this guy doesn't like us at all. We'll, have, we'll be hard-pressed to improve his relations with us, but we'll, we'll use... Ah, okay, we're not going to take this on. We're not going to take this on. Um, congenital traits can get passed on. There's only a chance of them being passed on, but why do we want to have poor genetics in our dynasty? Because again, right, you win as a family. The entire family matters, so we want to make sure that we, uh, we don't uh, hurt ourselves in that way. This is a potential alliance as well. Not with any of our vassals or anything. Problematic. Have have some better, you know, sisters or kids or something when you become an adult. We'll work on that. Tawaret, good intrigue stat there. You can also get cats. I haven't got a cat yet. I didn't know that. This is what I mean. There's so much in this game. Um, it's why when folks are asking me questions about, like, how I feel, what I think, etc., etc., it's really hard to answer, like, my favorite aspects. It's really hard to answer those questions right now because there is just so The last one we'll... Uh, We'll wait for an optimal an optimal spouse. Spy Master Doggo, I wish. Alliance expired with Wally Yusuf. Hang on, what? Yeah, I've got my I've got my Got my wife. And I've got my secondary spouses. Do I need to re betroth? Strange. Alliance power. Is there Han? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Same, same, same girl. Arrange the betrothal. That should work. Oh hey! Pregnant already? <laughs> Jeez, that was that was fast. Didn't didn't wait very long. Um my wife, Saika Miyasa, is bearing my child. Beautiful. Cannot wait to hold the babe in my arms. It'll take its sweet time, obviously, to get here. Now, hopefully this uh, alliance will be back because I do want my... There we go. Excellent. There's our betrothal. Again, betrothal. We're not married yet. Don't worry. Cool. Uh, so that'll help with the number of soldiers and stuff we get from uh, from them. Again, the higher the opinion, the, the better this percentage becomes, the better their contribution becomes. Unki at the council meeting. Are you kidding me? Chat, you summoned this event. You summoned this event. Um... <laughs> As me and my counselors are gathering for a meeting, my dog Unkid approaches me with begging eyes and a drooping tail. Um. <laughs> Ease, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, she does not like to be left alone, but this is an important meeting. 
Uh, will she join me? Every counselor will lose opinion of me or a dog has no place in a council meeting. Uh, it's possible that Unkid waits or Unkid goes on adventures and something bad can happen. She's, she's going to join me. I think it's acceptable to have her join me in a council meeting. She might have an opinion or, you know, just whatever. She's, she's, a, she's a friend. Um, and yeah, Ease, I mean, it, to be fair, I mean, like I am doing a lot of explaining as well, but it is, it is very much about controlling your people and stuff as well and managing your vassals and making sure everyone's happy and, and killing your father and things like that uh, too. Uh, I'm sorry, Prince al Kasim says my Shaika Miyasa. Oh no, that's my wife. I have to disagree with you with what you just... <laughs> oh no. Grrr, says the dog. Unkid gives a guttural growl and Shaika Miyasa jerks back, looking from the dog to me and back. On second thought, I think it's a great idea. Such a good girl, Unkid. And there you have it. Improving our much-needed prestige. Such a good girl. The promised event. I know, right? I know. Uh, all right, let's see. Can... <laughs> So, I can, first of all, let's continue helping in this war, shall we? We got rebellions, we got wars. Jeez, we need to dive into some of these. Where is our rally point over here? We need to help out. We have a decent sized army. We could also, we could also add some more bowmen here. I think it's a worthwhile investment. A little bit more money will allow us to build buildings as well. If we look back at our, our shakedom over here, I am tempted to save up for the farms and fields uh, because it helps how much money we get from taxes per month, which is not a bad idea. Um, uh, it's because we, we rebelled against him in, in Bannerlord, YouTube uh, Sarko. Uh, so that's what I'm holding off on before we, we upgrade or add more men-at-arms or anything like that. That's what I'm kind of waiting for. Where Where is my first army? It's down over here. Let's get you up over here. Gotta go that way. Can't we go this way? I guess that's the shorter route. Potential battle chances are even, even though they don't have any advantages. That's a fight in the mountains, isn't it? No, that's still dry lands. That's still dry lands. Ah, we'll, we'll take our chances. These two reinforcing soldiers, you know, let's just... Uh, pull them back before we lose them pointlessly. <laughs> pull them back. The city of Woofer? <laughs> don't tempt me, I will do it. I, I will I will rename a city to the city of Woofer. It sounds suitable enough for the uh, for the area. Not gonna lie. Embrace the spoilers with loving arms. Oh yeah, for events and stuff like that. Yeah. And yes, yeah, second rook getting getting busy already. And uh, Sakith, we are now an adult. We are sixteen. We might actually be seventeen now. I think we're still sixteen. Sixteen, already child on the way. Lot lots uh, lots lots coming up for for our for our people. Ooh, worker diligence. Motivated workers at Tamasna because of our spouse's excellent stewardship skills. So things like this will provide help in a variety of ways, uh, such as improving construction times, improving popular opinion, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's why I was hoping, again, and I'm surprised nothing's come of it yet. I was hoping that our um, steward would trigger an event that would give us, you know, more money. There's a lot of windfall events like that, financial windfall events like that, that I was really hoping for. Yeah, this is an easy victory for us. This war should be done soon enough, 100%. There's our chance for victory. Return our soldiers. And now that we can... Yeah, there we go. Now that we can have five holdings, I might actually immediately declare a war for uh, for Asfi. I've got myself a daughter. With a tired yet blissful smile, Mayasa presents me with a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child? And what shall I call you? I can name her after Mayasa. I can name her after an ancestor which I guess would also be Measa. Uh, or I could go for a random Maghrebi name. Sina. That's tempting. Uh, yeah, we, it's been it's been about two hours and 45 minutes, so just a little bit longer in today's stream left to go. Uh, we, can, we can investigate the opportunity to murder our father as well. Not a very high chance of success. But if we, uh, if we improve relations with certain people, we might be able to pull that off. Uh, we also have, of course, our bullies. I'll have to find them again. I'll have to <laughs> call her Unkid also. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to find um, my bully again and uh, and, tr and and take care of him, as it, as it were. As it were. Uh, let's, let's find a good uh, Maghrebi name. Zahra. Fatima. I do like Fatima. Fatima is a good name. Let's go with Fatima. Uh, oh, damn. Ottawa. Fine. You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do Ottawa. 
Uh, may you grow. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Arwa Idrisid. Beautiful. So here's the thing, though. We have a daughter, and that's great. But our heir, if we were to die, beautiful. We've won our war, and we should have gained. Yes, we've gained 75 prestige and opinion with the person we assisted helped as well. So be it. Good stuff. Prestige is finally positive again. That's nice to see. Um, that's nice to see. Let's go ahead and pull these guys back, and we'll disband them. Uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, we are uh, we have a daughter, and that's great. But you'll notice our player heir. If we die, our father still gets everything. Why? That's because, again, to those of you that don't know, don't understand, or don't follow, or whatever it might be, that's because our realm's succession laws are male only. Only men can inherit. So we have to have a son. If we do not have a son, our father takes control. And we can continue as our father, but I'd rather it be our own family that, uh, that we win the game as, so to speak. Our own you know, close family that we win the game as. Uh, but looks like things are going okay right now. Continuing to grow over here. I mean, again, we could... Oh, man. Just endlessly raising armies over here. No time to rest. But I suppose that is the way of, uh, of Crusader Kings after all. Move in. Because every anything our father gains is ultimately a gain for us as well, right? It's a double our win. Great. Um, anything our father's father gains, we will gain eventually as well. We need to be very careful of that 1700 strong army. That is an actual army. That is an actual army. They're engaged currently with another faction entirely, but we still have to watch our, our own selves over here. Wait until we join up with uh, with our father's forces, perhaps. Come on now, join up. Get away from that. That's a big army. And it's still 1,700 strong. Oh yeah, we, we just got away. That would have slaughtered us. Oh. Is my voice okay now? Let me know, folks. It's okay, now that's weird. That's weird. It's like my mic reminding me that it's almost time to... We're, we're almost... Uh, we're almost done for the day. But uh, hopefully it's okay now. It looks like it seems to be fine now. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for the heads up there. That's weird. I'll need to check out what that's about. Uh, is anybody else actually joining in over here? <laughs> Dad? They have allies as well, which is scary. Okay, this is a this is a serious war. This is a serious war. And I'm not sure where my father's soldiers are. We're the attackers here. How how could we be so uh, be so non-aggressive and and underprepared? This is not good. But now, is that uh, is that better? Tried fiddling with the cables a little bit. Technical issues. My apologies, folks. Oh, I see what's going on over here. I see what's going on over here. Right, right, right. I need to actually. No, right. We are a part of this war. Why? Why are we not? Uh... Because he's our liege. Why are we not? Why, why are there? Why are their colors not in blue? Why are we? Why are we not fighting together? Army of Fez. Has Fez not joined in? Oh man, this is a, it's a rough situation to be in. Uh, yes, I've got early access over here. Um, thanks to Paradox, allowing me to showcase this game on the channel a little early. Uh, I actually I've had access for a little while, and as a result of that, I have a bunch of videos lined up that we'll be releasing over the course of this week, and we're going to be continuing live streams as well. We're going to be doing them pretty often uh, on the channel. I saw a lot of people interested in seeing this storyline continue. Uh, I am blessed to have such grateful servants. Wonderful. Uh, my Chancellor Zafir, random event. Beautiful. Extra opinion of us. Now, uh, I understand, again, folks, today's session has been a little kind of slow-ish. We've been, like, ambling along at certain parts, uh, but it is because I wanted to do a fair bit of explaining as well as we went along, uh, because I felt like there's a lot of folks that are watching that might be completely new to Crusader Kings. Um, it's possible that, uh, uh, that some people are familiar with Crusader Kings, but new to some of the new mechanics in Crusader Kings 3. Like, there's all sorts of stuff there. So I was, uh, I was hoping to be... Uh, I was hoping to, like, kind of explain stuff as we went along. So things have been a little bit, a little bit slower. But in future live streams, we'll be a little bit faster as we, uh, as 
that we have to push around our, our claims and, and make more, more, more gains. You ask, your, you ask for your father's help, yet you plan to kill him. I don't know, I don't know if I do plan to kill him. It was just, uh, it, was, it was asked of me. Man, audio is really causing some issues. Well, fair enough. In some ways, I guess it works out. I hope the audio is okay right now. Satan, elite, oh no. Uh, no, no, yeah, apparently there's something going on on my end. Folks, uh, unfortunately, I guess, with that happening. Okay, lots of people saying they appreciate the pace and things like that. That's good, that's good, that's good. Re reading, reading chat still. Okay, hopefully my voice is okay right now. But folks, the things we do just popped up. Sometimes I think that there is no one I would rather spend my time with than my wife, Tawaret. Of all the things to do in this life, we enjoy so many of the same things. Life can be shared in many ways. That improves relationship. So, that's helpful. We're going to keep things paused because even though it's seven minutes early, hopefully, you can hear me clearly now as I say that we're going to call it a stream. Uh, I was planning on doing it in, you know, seven minutes time anyway. I'm doing it a little bit early, which is unfortunate. Um, but if audio is being terrible, I need to look into that. I will look into that. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to solve it. We find ourselves in a rather interesting situation right now, though, as uh, this massive army is ravaging our lands, or our father's lands, I suppose, and we're trying to help, but this war is going poorly. So I suppose you could say it's a bit of a cliffhanger uh, on which we are ending. Uh, if you are not in our Discord, then yes, Ease, thank you very much. Do join our Discord. We've got, I think, approximately 3,000 members all interested in a variety of types of games. We've got a lot of Blood Bowl leagues going on right now. Uh, Paradox games are off on the topic of discussion. The Total War series uh, and Planet Zoo. All, lots of games uh, outside of that as well. So uh, so feel free to join our Discord. It's a wonderful group of people. I'm very proud of the community we've built. Uh, also, you know, if you enjoyed today's stream, make sure you uh, leave a like down below to let me know. If you enjoyed watching it as a VOD as well, let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very, 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 very big difference. Um, and uh, it's good to see y'all enjoyed the stream. Many of you are saying that the stream pace was actually okay. So that's that's very helpful for me. That kind of feedback really helps me, you know, do things properly, do things right, if you will, in a way that I know people will enjoy things or, or what, what have you. Um, but yeah, I mean, I had a lot of fun. This went pretty well, I would say. We got a dog, which I'm so pleased to say. Uh, we got married. We have decent relation. Oh, hmm. That's, that's gone poor again. She doesn't respect us. Come on now. <laughs> We've got uh, decent relation. Asfi. And then maybe we either push down to something in Sioux or we hit up Iberia. Either way, folks, thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed today's session. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like if you're watching the VOD. Leave a like and a comment. It does make such a big difference. Uh, of course, I cannot call it a session, though, without saying thank you to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel as well on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And for some reason, the uh, credit screen is not showing up. Having all sorts of technical issues today for some reason, which is a very interesting end to the stream. Unfortunate. But folks... You know who you are. A massive thanks to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You do keep us alive and running smoothly. A big thanks to our new channel member today and for you for all of your donations as well. Uh, until next time, as always, cheers. <laughs>